Josh from the New England Free Jacks, and you're watching the Jacks Rangers show. Huzzah! Huzzah, Rangers. It's your boy, Bozo6, coming to you live from the Granite Bunker. We have the watch along Houston Sabercats versus New England Free Jacks, the best in the West versus the beast of the East. I'm joined by Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil, what's good, man? Bozo, how are you doing, man? I'm doing good, dude. You're rocking the forged Irish stout gear. It's pretty you know sick. It. I yeah. like it. I like it. I wish I had gotten some of that merch. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty weak pretty weak this year haven't been to a game haven't updated merch i've just been kind of investing in the bunker and trying to overcome technical difficulties here uh Listen, and failing man, at both we know we know your shortcomings but it's all right we accept you as is and hopefully you'll get out to a game at fort quincy at some point yeah maybe right. next week which would be fantastic I guess. Perhaps. perhaps i perhaps so. i might be a little bit scared to show up to that well, one what rumor on the street is you rumor know, on the street. you'll be just fine i wanted to mention i'm seeing across the uh the interwebs here that houston sabercats stadium seats are sold out for this game so it should be a pretty ruckus loud environment down there that, that good for them you know, in that uh, that rugby specific stadium, uh, that's awesome. Let me see. I I, I wanted to ask uh, the audience if we've got anybody watching at this point. How's the sound? Um, am I too close to the microphone? Can everybody hear us correctly or clearly? Rather, I should say. Um, I'm going to pull up Bozo uh, the starting lineup for our New England Free Jacks. Yeah, let's do it. If I can grab it here, let me see. Yeah, I didn't. Oh man, did some terrible prep work for this. <laughs> Uh, all right, I've got it in front of me here. We got um, Malachi uh, is starting at one. We've got Sean Ralph at two. We've got Cole Keith uh, at three. Josh Larson uh, at four. We've got Connor Keys at five. Six is Piers Von Dandelson. Uh, seven is your captain, Mitch Jacobson. You heard that correctly. Mitch Jacobson is the captain for this game. Mm -hmm. uh, number eight is Wien Conradi. Number nine is Cam uh, Clemetti. Uh, at 10, we've got Jason Patras. We've got uh, 11 is going to be Paula Bellancana. 12 is LaRue Milan. Uh, Wayne Vanderbank is 13. 14 is our boy Iron Man, Mitch Wilson. And finally, the Red Rock at 15, Reese McDonald. I'll tell you who's on the bench as well. We've got our guy uh, Q at 16, which is Andrew Quatron. 17 himself is the Beaver. Uh, Fozzie DeWitt, uh, 18 is Caleb Geiger, 19 is Jackson Thebus, 20 is Seta Baker, 21 is the vampire Holden Youngert, 22 is Ben Lesage, who is getting earning his 50th cap uh, if he makes his 50th appearance. 50th appear appearance. Uh, here, here's Elitist Bozo correcting me. Yes. Uh, 23 is Danian uh, Morgan Puturangi. So, yeah. And we know who's on the injury and recovery list. That would be John Poland, uh, Gabriel Casey, Jacko, um, Ethan Fryer, John Roy Jenkinson, and Kyle the Eagle Sequera, who was just on the show on Thursday. He's approaching his 50th cap. That most likely will take place uh, as if, if everything goes well against Seattle at Fort Quincy, which is going to be a hell of an achievement for him as well. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually kind of happy that he's he's rolling up on 50 at home. Absolutely. Uh, we know, you know, obviously we talked to him on Thursday. He said he had a pulled hammy. Yep. I'm glad he's taking the time to rehab that. That can be one of those tricky injuries where you feel good, you think you're ready to go, but then under game time yep. strain when it gets for real, and then that's when you really hurt it and it really puts you down for another couple of weeks. So take sure. the week of rest. Absolutely. You don't need 5-0 on the road. No hometown kid get out in front of that hometown crowd have them absolutely hissing <laughs> oh yeah hissing the hissing meter is just through the roof there um in the red line but i wanted to ask you about if you look at the front row it's not the typical starters for the most part i would say at one and two you know it's a, a bit of a glaring youngster squad this is a similar thing that Scott Matthew did a, two seasons ago at this point when Austin was still in the league. We brought a less than A-plus roster down there, and people were like, what is happening? What is this guy doing? And then we rope it up their ass. If Not you recall. just people. Yeah, This show. We were oh, freaking out about yeah. it. <laughs> we oh, were, yeah. And that was Lottie Dottie, everybody. Yeah, I remember that sure. one. It, it was a it – was I mean – I think uh, with enough distance uh, from Scott Matthews' time at the Greek was, but I remember remember when we picked him up, uh, you, I think, were the one who honed in on this, that his nickname was the Giant Killer. That's right. Yep. Right? And, and so 
listen, I, I kind of re-reviewed Houston's season. They're very good. Yeah, uh, don't don't get me wrong. They went up to Starfire and beat Seattle. That's not an easy a huge task. accomplishment. Yeah. Yes. Um, and they it was a slugfest with Seattle. It was a back okay. and forth. They barely escaped there with the win. They've had a couple of close calls. The Saber Cats have, but good teams find a way to win. That's right. Uh, so I do think that they are well. Technically, they're in second place, which but they're undefeated. Yeah, yeah, I think it's bullshit because Seattle just hasn't had a bye week yet. That's so right. when so you have, have an extra game in hand, yep. right? When you have an extra game to have played, obviously your table points are going to be higher. Houston beat them directly, That's so right. I say Houston's. They the are the best in the West, in the West. right? Yeah. And so I just think they're a really good team, uh, and this is a really bold move. I don't know that I don't know their roster good enough to know if they've kind of done any type of shakeup at all. Right. Obviously, you're playing down in Houston. Uh, the conditions look okay, but it can always be wet and muggy down there absolutely um so the ball could be slick but we've been playing in absolutely miserable conditions up here in new england for yeah. quite a while so i think the boys will be happy to be in warm sure or hot wet than cold wet yeah i, I don't think the it's going to bother them too much in fact that they might be kind of thrilled if the weather's a bit better than it has been up here in the past couple weeks i wanted to ask you about this you know we've got key to the game dave diamond dave of course by the way in the chat in the chat, love that. Uh, hi, Dave. Uh, effective tackling for Diamond Dave. Myself, bring the pain, which is you know be be dominant, be physical against this team that also is dominant and physical. What would your key to the game be, real quick? Oh man, uh, I think this is. I think I always say this, but I'll just say take our chances. Okay. Uh, we can't we can't leave chances on the board. Not against the best team in the league. So when you're down there, if you make the if you know you get you're awarded that penalty and you kick for the corner and you get that five meter line out, you've got to finish that. Absolutely. You've got to finish that. Yep. You can't let that hang. You can't um, miss opportunities against somebody like Houston. No. And I think that, you know, it's not, so that's my key to the game, but I think in general, the free Jacks need to keep their style uh, the same that we saw with Chicago, not Chicago, uh, with Miami. Okay. Uh, keeping the points ticking over. Sure. And if points are on offer and it's a good shot, let, let potty take the hit. And, and put it put it between the posts and get three knocked over. Keep them kicking it back to us, uh, that that type of thing. I just want to see them have like a. They're going to need to play really tight. They yeah. the boys were excellent. I think that they are gelling. Uh, but again, you're you're away from home. It's Houston's yes. backyard, and they're the best team. So, and I think that you know, I think full disclosure, if we if we rewound the tape mm -hmm. and we went back, I think I had this pegged as a loss. I'm almost positive I did. I think I did too, perhaps. I, I can't fully recall, but yeah. I you know, this is always a game that I look at if we're especially if we're down there, it could be uh trouble. And you mentioned that I'm wearing uh the uh the Stout Fest gear from this year, the St. Patrick's Day Festival. The mm -hmm. reason I'm doing that, I'm actually wearing my Charlotte RFC green socks as well i'm trying to give us a little bit of luck because i don't i don't feel great about this game i don't, there's a lot of games that we look at on the schedule and say this is going to be a win i yeah. don't necessarily feel that way i wanted to go into the predictions real quick uh diamond dave has houston 25 new england uh 28 and for myself houston 17 new england 18 when i'm just uh, pulling the curtain back real quick if i'm picking us to win by one point I don't have the most amount of confidence that we're actually going to win the game. I want us to win. Uh, I think we could beat anybody on any given day, but this is a very good Houston team. Yeah, I agree. I mean, man, I'm going to throw a score prediction out there. Let's do I it. think I think we get 24 21 Jacks. Wow. Okay. Close. 24 yeah. 21 Jacks. I think it's 24 14. And in typical free jacks fashion, we let them score a shite try at the end. Okay. That that it's not in, not in squeaky bum time, just yeah. before squeaky bum time. Sure. So it kind of gets us on the edge of our seat time. Right. It keeps us involved. Shakingly nervous yes. time. You know? Yeah, that's what happened here the last <laughs> yeah. time I was here. I mean, we had some technical difficulties, but we saw the end of the game there. The Jacks definitely kind of fell asleep at the wheel and uh allowed hell, I don't even remember who that was. Uh Chicago to to crawl back into the game there. We got Facebook user chiming in on the chat. Facebook user, who you be? Because uh, I think if you're watching the show from Phil's Facebook page, personal, that's how you come across Facebook users. So if you switch over to the Jacks Rangers uh, page, I'll be able to tell who you're at. But they got 24-10 free Jacks. Oh, that's that. super confident. I'd like that. to see that. And listen, yeah. I, here's the other thing, too. With this game, uh, I wanted to point out my typical, hey, if I'm going to be a clown, yep. then let's be a clown. MLR social media. You are frauds. Your percentage <laughs> Those score predictions. The man, score, what are they doing? Yeah, well, not even the score predictions. It was the percentage predictions, the percentage win predictions right. were like, like, listen, 
they heavily favored the free jacks i think 60 to 40 which i was like dude i love to see that i'm a free jacks homer sure but to the the blatant disrespect to the only undefeated side left in the competition mm -hmm. i'm like yo and you know what you know what i mlr those phonies those jabronis up there yep. i think they got beef with the jacks i don't think they like us i don't think they like the organization because they're always always snubbing their nose for the team of the week all that bullshit so i think that they're doing some reverse psychology bullshit blatantly disrespecting houston to add to their fire that way they can be like oh yeah and like dance on new england's graves if we lose and i just want to i just want to be put on record that you're a bunch of frauds wow you like the disrespect at Dallas too. Like, listen, man, Dallas yeah. doesn't have the greatest record this year, but they they beat the Free Jacks in preseason. They've played yep. everybody extremely tough. This they is have. not the same Jackals. No, team. and no. like they had like Utah like killing them, and it the, was like the, the Jackals have arrived, folks. Oh, if man. you've been sleeping at the wheel, watch out. Dallas is kind of for real right now. They're definitely better than Utah in the West. You know, it, you know who they remind me of? They remind me of the Utah sides of, of past right. seasons where it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. you catch them if they're red hot, you're in trouble. Yep. You're in trouble 100%. no matter who you are. So I think yeah, I think you're right. I think the Jackals kind of reminiscent of the 2021 Free Jacks. Like Same that. kind of thing where like, like they're going to play you hard nose. We were flying under the radar back yeah. in those days. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, it is 8 p.m. Eastern time. Yep. Waiting uh, for the game. Sure. I'm going to back out of it, see if I can yeah, reload it. I think that might help. Okay. Yeah. All right. Typical. It doesn't, I hate that about the rugby network app. It doesn't auto flip over. Yeah. It's not my favorite app. In the if world. you're in the chat, if you could let me know, I just, I just want to make sure that the game speaker isn't coming over my mic or Phil's mic. Uh, it comes out of my projector. I just wanted to let, uh, if you could let us know. Yeah, if you can hear the game, let us know because that is yeah, not good. Yeah, we definitely want to turn that off. But yeah, we got uh, Gary DeWitt. Gary. What's up, Gary? He's got so he put in the beaver emojis. You know? Love that. You know? His son is in the lineup, I believe, on the reserve. 23, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, so 50. Let, let's talk about. I'm actually going to turn this down because I don't yeah, care please about the do. pre talking heads. Um, what, do you, what are your thoughts on. Um, Dude, Ben Lesage, 50 appearances. Let's go. Incredible, man. I, we're so lucky to have him. I, I've said this on, on our show before. I think I underrate him as a player because he's not really flashy. Like, he's scored a lot of tries this season, but he just does a lot of dirty work, right? Like, he's a great tackler, you know, facilitates for others, pa you know, passes that ball off, can be a battering ram, but, like, he's just so good, and we're lucky to have him for sure. Yeah, speaking of some familiar faces, you know, oh, Josh Yo Larry Larson and then – What a battle this is. The yeah. talisman, Johan Momsen. Familiar foes, these two, the That's former right. rugby ATL Rattler, That's right. Johan Momsen, now on the Houston Sabercats, so he will know the Free Jacks well. Yep, and this is a guy that uh, was on the Greek list squad with That's right. Scott Matthews, yep, so Scott South Matthews knows him very well. Yeah. Um, he might be, and I don't mean any disrespect to Josh or anybody else that uh, plays for us. He might be the best lock since he joined the league, consistently the best. That guy's legitimately good. Like he's super good. Yeah, good I, tackler, good ball carrier, smart, no great in the air yep. at lineouts. I mean, yeah, I mean he's everything you, you you want out of a lock. I just want to step back real quick with 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 Ben. Yeah, what was so interesting is remember that first Bozo Media Day prior I to the too. twenty uh, yeah. twenty two season or, or no. 2023 season last season when we picked him up yes i'm sitting down there and i don't even know who this guy is and i'm just sure. hanging out but he's such an uh, outgoing guy i yep. felt so out of place at media day i was sure. just kind of standing around i didn't know what to do and he was just like hey what's going on and he's he just super out. nice yeah great he's interview. also super smart you know we had our introductory interview with him last season and you pick up on that right away like whatever ben decides to do after rugby he's going to be super successful at it yeah, nice for sure. guy, very smart, very um, you know, just he's always reading books, you know, like very learned in that way. Yeah. He, well, leaders, they call him leaders board are room. readers. Yeah. <laughs> so, as they, they call say him boardroom Benny for a reason, man. You know it, you know it. And you know uh the final thing that I'll the, that I'll say about him, happy that he's had a really great season. Yes. If you follow Rugby Canada, he suffered a pretty serious injury in their summer series against Tonga. Right. I forget the name of the player who um, pretty much picked him up and kind of dropped him on his head. Oof. It wasn't horribly egregious, but it definitely was not borderline type of thing. Uh, no, it definitely wasn't borderline. It was a good call. Like it was red, but like, I mean, it wasn't, um, 
so malicious where he just like pile drive the dude. Right. But you know, he was sending a message to Ben uh, uh, by tackling him like that. And it was completely unnecessary. Like he had him lined up. He didn't need to, to, to put him away like sure. that. And it injured Ben's shoulder. And I think it cost him. I, I'm not sure I could be misspeaking, but I think it cost him some training time opportunity at Gloucester. We, he was yeah, in England I was for about to mention yeah. that. Like this is a guy, I mean, we don't have a lot of players that go over to the English premiership, regardless if it's just the, you know, the summer training preseason stuff. Yeah. Like he's one of those guys that were over there doing that, which is really, really, uh, it speaks highly of him and how other clubs value him as well yeah so shoulder injuries are nasty man right. like you know it's especially not, in rugby yeah yeah and it's not professional athletes but in the army they're they always are worried about your knees your hips and your shoulders and your neck because those are you know obviously very vital and, and important uh for being in the army and, and they're also vital and important for rugby so that sure. was a nasty shoulder injury happy to see him back so they're uh putting up the, the starting lineups we got houston i can't really read any of these first three names but then we got momson and yep. Then, yeah, I, I, the whole it's forward hard. pack, it's I have a, no idea who these guys short. are. Yeah, that was really tough. Uh, now we know the 10 from Seattle, yes, uh, very good. Let me see, here. Alatimu, AJ. Alatimu yep. yes, and then Kotzer at the at the at the back is a good uh, player, Christian Dyer, 14, very good player as yep. well, and then Pate. Human, yes, human. Pote human, yes, yes. Now, this South is the guy Africa. famously who stormed the pitch, yeah, in, remember that in Mount Vernon and started smacking up rugby New York, Mike Tyson, <laughs> as we call him. Yeah, <laughs> here uh, we go. Here's the boys, yeah, and we got Hala, Ralph, and Cole Keith, yeah, Larson and Keys, as you were talking about, lock pair, and then the yep. lofts of Von Daddles and Conradi and Jacobson. I mean, just uh, uh, absolute insult, you know, uh, just absolute wealth here, absolute wealth, nice, yep. Nordley, Calametti, Patras, the halfback pairing, the center pairing of Milan and Vanderbank, and then the back three, Balakana, Wilson, and McDonald. Oh, love to see Iron Man back. Let's absolutely, go, Mitch. Absolutely, 100%. There he is. And There's there the man, is. the giant killer himself. Yeah, it could have been probably coach of the year last year, too. Should but have they had been. given it to him the year before, so you can't go back Again, to back. Feelings over facts around uh, MLR. Yeah, you got Diamond Dave. I don't know. Nope, sorry, PJ Simpson. What's up, PJ? Uh, no background noise from Quincy. Sound good? Yeah, I got the mute on. Ranger PJ. Yeah, right. Ra Ragnar PJ. Yes, sir. Man, that's a lot of streamers on that flag. There, Let's look go. At this. Yeah, we got some army folks recruiting. In there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the recruiting folks are always out there in the marketing. When I went to Media Day this year, I uh, I linked up. Uh, uh, TK was asking me. Uh, you know, hey, who do you know with some military peeps that we can get hooked in with? And I actually knew one of the company commanders for nice. recruiting out of Mass National Guard, so I gave him his contact there info. So I don't know. Oh, boy. oh God. No. Hey, look, look who's in the center here. Oh, shit. Oh, we're in trouble. No. Oh, oh boy. I don't think I, I didn't realize this. <laughs> Our good friend, Frederico Anselmi, is, uh, is uh, the man no, with the whistle. No. I'm surprised they're wearing yellow uh, referee jerseys, That is man. interesting, considering they're in Houston and their primary color is yellow. Yeah. Are, are the Sabercats in black today? God, I didn't I actually so. look. That would be an absolute disaster. Oh, man. Well, they got a temperature they 82 degrees, Bozo. <sighs> wow. Clear skies, 10 to 15 miles an hour with the wind. But I'm very curious to see there's no way that they would fuck this up, right? I don't think so. Hey, we got Beverly Potras in the chat. Hi, Let's Bev. go, Free Jacks. Hi, Bev. We we love uh, we love Jason. Potty, Super windy call, there, right? says Gary. Yeah, I mean, fifteen ain't too bad. It's not terrible, but yeah, it, it could be a factor. Yeah, Houston's oh, wearing black. Goodness. Okay, yeah. Gosh. No, they couldn't. There's no way they could have let that pop. Woo! Well, you never know about this league, pal. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. early days, early days. Yeah, still. Johan Momsen chatting up the Houston boys. The, the captain of the team. Good for him, man. Yeah. Yep. They're a great team, man. They're a great team. They are. Well constructed, you know. These guys, a lot of South Africans, as you would expect. Yep, South African flavor. Against more 100%. of our kind of Kiwi flavor. Kiwi. We got like a Kiwi Pac Islander yep. flavor going. Kiwi, Canadian, and USA is the primary yeah. nationalities <laughs> here. We love it. All right, so the free team the Free Jacks will be going left to right on the screen. Nice shot of Patras. And they will. we are taking the opening kickoff from Houston. We're about to get underway. Let's freaking go. Man, so much better having the Roku up there. It's, it's not great. choppy. It's yep. not lagging. Yep. The show looks great. I can focus on the chat here. It's good, man. Oh, let's go. Huzzah. Huzzah. Ranger Horkin has entered the chat. Love it. What's up, James? 
Yeah, Inter- Wesley Inter- James. Bur- Wesley Burho chiming in. Oh Ranger no, West. and sell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean he's a damn good rugby player. I cannot believe that Seattle gave this guy up. I, I just you don't quite understand. No, know, you know, yes, and we are underway. Insane. We have bungled it off the kick. Whoops. Houston has has the has the rock. Yep. They're just inside the Free Jacks uh, ten meter line. Good double tackle by the Free Jacks. Yep. Slow ball, dominant tackle. Altimu pulls out the back. I don't know who that is stepping inside center. Gathered up by Sean Ralph, and I think that was Vanderbank. Uh, yes, it was. Ooh, Connor Keys Great with the tackle. stick. Yep. Just <laughs> is he going to lose wall, his jersey man. again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got advantage Ralph offsides. Yeah. And they will take that. Yep, they we'll will see what back. Houston does with it. Uh, probably about a 40 meter shot, 38 meter shot. And it, it looks like it could be dead on or just slightly off center there. So, yeah, off center to the right, too. Yeah. So, as a right footer, that might be a good shot. Oh, yeah. I think they're going. Nope. They're going for the corner here. All right. Showing their intent. Hey, it's only one minute into the game. Sure. I guess. Yeah, nothing, they're at home. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Um, I don't know if there's a traffic jam in Houston, but that does not look sold out to me. I don't know. Plenty of great seats available. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. I wonder if it's the near side of the field. Oh, no. right. Is that the opposite stands like they got in DC? Yeah. Yep. 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 You're right. So. All right, so the wind seems to be going left to right across the screen as well. So the Free Jacks, is, they're, they're going to need a good defensive set here. Hope for a Houston error or bungled the line out. Down and drive comes Houston. Yep. They've got it cleanly at the back. Free Jacks seem to have stuffed it. Yep. And maybe won the ball back. No. Great job by the Free Jacks here. Still with Houston. Yep. I mean, if anything, that just kind of sets the tone and lets Houston know this is not going to be an easy situation we're making it difficult for them at the breakdown yes, uh, early on here pick and go to try to probably disrupt our defensive rhythm a little bit yep good tackle from larue milan good to see him back out there cam works a bit shoddy yeah not great <laughs> alatimu cuts back in field he's met by jacobson good tackle Houston kind of going left to right, slowly making meters, slowly creeping forward, probably on phase seven or eight now. Mm-hmm. I'm lo- I'm losing, I haven't kept the count. Oh, Whoa, messy. Just, that was wild. Was that their scrum half just throwing it up like yeah, that? Yeah, he just God. flipped it back. Yeah. Oh, my Woo-hoo! goodness. Is that Van Danielson? Good Lord. What, yeah, but what a uh, shot. it was uh, Malachi Hala that kind of gave him the shot. You love to see it, man. Houston go, now going backwards. Free Jacks having a great defensive set here. And Selmy's got his arm out again. We saw this last week where the Free Jacks are just not oh, man. coming back. But uh, uh, he was unfortunate because yep. can you imagine that Reese McDonald Ooh. try? Yep. 95 scamper across the line. Unreal. But obviously right when teams are playing with house money, they'll take chances and throw Absolutely. passes that they don't normally. Uh, interesting choice here from, from Houston. It was probably like an offsides or a not rolling away or something. I can't, we don't have the sound playing in the game. I wonder, or maybe it was this high, maybe it was a high tackle. I'm not sure. Not sure. Yeah. It's probably going to be a no yeah. arms tackle. Yep. Yeah. That guy, that's not Yeah, good. You can't do that. Nope. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, it, nothing's going to come easy against this free Jacks defense, which I love to see, man. You're going to have to work hard to score against them. That same thing happened last week against uh, Miami. We kept repelling them over and over and over again. And eventually, you know, we would, uh, we would create a turnover. Um, and it was beautiful to see. Kept him out of the try zone. Ranger Horkin says, I got to get myself to the bunker sometime. Where yes, is sir. it in the beautiful Granite State? Uh, I do not give my location out on the internet, Ranger Horkin. So Parks you're going to you're gonna have Parks to slide unknown. into the DMs, dude. Yep. Houston goes over the top and that's it. Yeah. Christian Dyer scoring in the corner there. Oh man. Good player. Oh God. Beautifully worked try. We didn't really have uh it looked like we were trying to pressure them internally. They skipped over out to the outside and he was unmarked and had a free run to yeah. the line. So I mean, w- with the last time that we were here, we saw that with uh Chicago where we we handled them internally. Um, but when they went out wide, we were caught we were having some issues defensively. So well, they had a free play again. Yes, uh, advantage off the scrum. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one's a tough, tough, tough yep, first to blood to Houston. You know, again, nobody said that this was going to be an easy game, right? So, well, I want to see how we respond here. Waiting for the conversion kick. Yeah, man, that's a tough one. 
Yep. That's a tough set. And that's all off the kickoff, man. We bungled it, and it's been all Houston for the first, first five minutes. We haven't even touched the pill You're yet. You're absolutely right. So we got we to gotta clean that up. We can't be giving away easy ones. Zero possession, zero territory for the Free Jacks right now. At least it's a tough kick for Kotza. Yep. Is that how they say it? Kotza? 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 I don't know. I'm not a, not a Safa. Not going to have to get spun guy. up from uh, Vion Conradi or LaRue Milan or Scott oh, Matthew. Can't. He missed that. No, oh, did he hook it in. Did he hook it in? No, the flag stay down. down. All, right. All right. That was a terrible camera. Right into the sun there, it looked like. Yeah. Couldn't see much of anything. Let's hit up the chat real quick as they're resetting. Yeah, Ranger Horkin says the main stand is not on TV. Uh, yep. There you go. Wesley Burrow, I've never seen a mall get mauled like that. Mm. Mm. I mean, that, that, that goes back to the practice, you know. Uh, we, we know what Houston's about, right? So I'm sure the Free Jacks were out there practicing how to stuff them all from a lineout. Like, the, the forward For sure. get after it, man. Potras with the restart. Boom. Gathered easily by Houston, but the tackle's made by Balacana. Yep, great and job. we're probably going to see maybe one forward phase and a clearance kick. Uh, yeah. Sounds about right. Looking like that. He's rolling yes, it back. Yep, that's it. I think they're talking about getting rid of the Caterpillar Ruck, which would be great mm -hmm. for the game. I think it's kind of trash. I agree, I agree with that. Camera's tough into the sun. Well taken by McDonald. And our first uh, first shot just inside Houston territory. Here we go. Wayne right. Vayner back on the outside. He's just yep. going to. Wayne was called. Oh, Wayne is it. taking him on the outside. Let's go, boys. He's taking him himself. He's not held. Wow. Great support. For the Free Jacks. Free Jacks there. flying. I Here think Anselmi might have his hand out as well. No, not, not going to need it. That's it. Oh, wow. wow. Great to see. Malachi yes. Hala in his for his second first try, try in MLR. Got to go. Out of boy, young man. Wow. It did not take we hot knife through butter. Houston, not even 21 years old, that kid. Houston is absolutely bollocks. Wow. They are stunned. Yep. I don't think they know what hit them, man. Well, that's interesting, right? The, the the forwards of Houston were dominating, and now we're just running all over them all Dude, of a sudden with what our backs. A pass. So, first of all, great run by Wayne Vanderbank. No but doubt. an amazing laser beam from LaRue Milan to set that laser. up. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, Houston defense just not yeah, set. They're they're just completely scattered. You know yep. what? It's a great line taken by everybody involved. There's a there was a lot of dummy lines being yep. run, but Jason Patros. You beauty. He picks the right. He picks the right guy. Yep. Right. The the three inside guys uh, inside Halal were marked. Yep. And 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 Malachi Halal was not marked. It's almost like he's the MVP of the league last year and then won two championships in 2023. The Weird. guy's unreal, man. Weird. Yeah. He must be. He must have been. Must have been. All right. So the Free Jacks hit the lead. And if you thought that they were going to get steamrolled. I don't you think You thought so. wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, there's only seven minutes and 43 seconds gone. It's but what a, what a great range. rugby game so far, man. This is exactly what you want to see, right? If you're a neutral or, or either a fan of the, either one of these teams, you've seen Houston do their thing, and now you've seen the Free Jacks respond very well. Yeah, Alatimu with the restart. They go right back to where we bungled it before. Balacano yeah. with the take. Offloads to Conradi the bus. And I think we might see the same from the Free Jacks. We might see one forward phase followed by a Caterpillar Ruck and clearance. Mm -hmm. Keezer takes it up. If you are in Canada and you need a mortgage, <laughs> talk <laughs> to that man. He's your man. Yeah. He's the key to the mortgage game. He will literally give you the shirt off his back, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get this commentary when you're listening to the, the stiffs uh, on uh, the Rugby Network. Listen, man, I'm better than them, and I know it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love that. All right, so now I think the I think the nerves are settled for both teams, and now and now and now we're playing rugby. So just inside yeah. their own half, it'll be a Houston lineout. We'll see what they get popping with. Wow. Okay, oh, yeah. that was a weird one. It's very strange. Went to the back. I think it went to the Houston six, who didn't even have to jump. He just caught it. <laughs> <laughs> That's always nice. Excellent, uh, excellent tackle, Mitch Jacobson. Alatimu sees some space and pokes it. Paula Balacano was up forward at the defensive line. Yep. And, and then a clearance kick from Jason Potras. Love to see it. Yeah. So a little bit of a kicking duel here. Alatimu, so when, obviously if, you, if you're not a rugby fan, if the wing flies up, it creates an opportunity. There's space there, but Potras, savvy veteran. All right. Let's hit, uh, let's hit some chats. 
Let's Gary hear it. says hit the crossbar, stayed out. Yep. Double dink and came out. <laughs> Double dink. That's from Ranger Horkin. What a great tackle. Ranger Horkin with the knock on yep. advantage. Free Love Jacks. To see it. Free Jacks just absolutely just getting after it. Calls in that not knock on. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was messy. That's all right, though. Look at that. Love that. He's like, you just killed our scrum half. And he's like, all right, man, I'm my, my bad. He blew the whistle. <laughs> we had a big huzzah from Ranger Hork and must have came in off the off the off the yeah, try. Man. Nothing better than a bald beauty like Patras <laughs> or Bozo. Yeah. But yes, uh, we'll go with Potty. Sure. Yeah, Wesley Burho chime in. Holy mackerel, that was something we've been missing. What a try. Yep. Yeah, it was a great Electric, try. Like right? I said, it, with that one, it was it was quick ball, a disorganized defense, and you literally just have to find the unmarked man, but you have to do it in real time under pressure and then find the pass and make the pass. Yep. Patros did it beautifully. He's been doing this quite some time, Phil. Yeah. Not a, new. a crafty veteran. Yes. Our first scrum of the game. Houston Ooh, mowing boy. us down, Jesus. mowing us down. Houston had, oh, but we on Conradi comes up with it oh. somehow. Free Jack's ball, the incredible. Best forward in the league, we on Conradi. Quick ball for the Free Jacks. Patras flat to the line to Milan. Yeah, did well to get rid of that. Jason Patras. I'll tell you Quick. that scrum looked like a real problem. Potty saw some space in the back. Sets what a chase. chase. Houston oh. is under. Houston is under huge pressure. You love this huge. It, That's a knock That's on. A knock on. Wow. Yes, sir. Try. Try. Yes. Let's incredible. Go. Incredible passage of play. Wow. Houston boys. Wow. Is reeling. Try to the bus. What a, what a man. The bus just will run you over, Jack. Like, LFG, Ranger Hork, and the I bus. Cannot, this is unreal. Now, I will say that Houston scrum is going to be a problem all game long. We got to get that sorted. But look at this response from the Free Jacks. They're like, okay. We know what you're about, and we're just going to razzle dazzle your ass. And again, this is this is Jason Patra spotting the space with a yep. kick. That first of all, I think that that was a forward handoff from the scrum half. Then oh. bungled forward yep. and lost. Watch him. So he watch him. I think he hands it off forward. Oh well, no, kind of back. Absolute pressure there. You know? Wow, unbelievable. Jeez. Unbelievable. You love to see it, man. This is exactly the type of rugby that you want to see as a response to this physical team. You know, I was saying in my in my my key to the game, let's bring the physicality to them. But I mean, if you're out here just you know making stars in their eyes, you don't really have to necessarily do that, right? Potty like, nails another conversion. I would rather have flair over physicality, knuckle dragging any day of the week. Yeah, I mean, listen, after a really problematic start, the Free Jacks have responded. Absolutely, with two. it's a great point. They scored four minutes in. And now we've scored 14 off the bounce. I don't know uh, if Jason Patras went with Larry to get coffee this morning, but <laughs> whatever was in that brew has got him. He's laser focused, man. All right. So Alatimu to Balakana yet again off the kickoff. I don't know if they're targeting, targeting Paula for yeah. some reason. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's happened three times in a row, so it must be something that they've seen on tape. A fucking za from Gary DeWitt. Huzzah. You know it, Gary. You know can't wait till Fozzy Fozzy the Beaver gets on. Yeah, that bomb squad. I think we're gonna need. Ooh, ooh that's oh gonna be advantage, maybe. No, okay. <laughs> and tell me, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, Federico. Federico. He's not having a bad match. I'll give he's, him some he's credit. He's done fine. He's done fine so far. Free Jacks pouring into the counter ruck. You love to see it. Houston picks up. Something happened. What's the call? Can't tell. Did he maybe. point towards us? He, no. Yeah, yeah, rolling downhill. It's Houston ball. Do we want to hit the sound back on or no? No, nah, I'm good. Yeah, nah. We don't really care. So we've <laughs> got to kind of clean that up. I don't think Houston has been penalized once. We've been pinged a couple of times. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's well, that was a factor at the beginning of the season. Ill discipline really hurt us, especially in that DC game. Yeah. So Houston could strike back here. Yeah. I mean, they're fully capable of striking. Um, you know, from this position here. And we'll see what happens. I mean, you, you feel good about the defensive effort from the Free Jacks, but you never know. Yeah, I mean, we, we I like, listen, that that first set down there, we really made them work. Absolutely. And it was only the scrum that set them loose for the try. Correct. 
Look at oh, this. All right. Yeah, we'll take Obstruction. it. Obstruction. We'll Love it. that. Love that. So a new law, I don't know if it's a new law change this year, but the referees have been hyped. So in years past, you were able yep. to drop kind of like a blocker, man. Yes. We got pinged for it last week and we you sure overheard when Larry was captain of the side. He goes, so what do I need to do? Do I need to kind of move more off to the side? Like he was negotiating with the ref kind of his body position and the ref was like, you need to just be out of there. Wow, and he goes, yeah. okay. Yep. And so... Yeah, I, I I didn't I wasn't paying close enough attention. I wonder if that was uh, I wonder if that was kind of that that flavor where they had a guy could have been. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, bad oh, at line out time, bungled, but we yeah. come up. Oh, with we it. got it still. Who is that? Win? No, uh, knocked on. Larry picked it up. Larry, yep. So that's not good. Scrum time. Not great. Uh, we need to at least try to get a platform to try to force Houston to kick back to us. Uh, but if they mow us down, that's not good. Nope. I feel like we're a little undersized. Shout out to Storm Along, the homies. I know they yeah, used to sponsor the, the Apple, show. They yeah. don't anymore. Don't know what's up with that. I got to renegotiate. <laughs> yeah, get on the horn. You got to get on the horn. Yeah, Storm Along. Um, yeah, very interested to see this response from the, the Free Jacks forwards here because obviously they were completely dominated in the previous scrum. Didn't, didn't really help Houston at all uh, with us scoring that try right afterwards, but we'll see what happens here. No, and you know, I worry about the scrum too because well, Houston's one of the biggest packs in the league, if not the biggest. Right? Oh They're, boy, we're getting murdered. Yeah. Yep. The arm is out. That's gonna not be a good. That's gonna be a very sore spot in the game. But as we know, you know, the, the front row is not exactly first choice, and Scott Matthew would would tell me immediately what is first choice, right? Like that's his approach. But you know, if you look at the past couple of games, those guys that are starting generally have not started except for Cole Keith. Right. So. Yeah. It's true. But at the same time, I'm not trying to dog on him, but Jackson Thebus is not a big man and he'll be coming in at some point. So we're going to be losing some beef in the engine room as true. well. We don't know what Houston subs are like in terms of their, their ability. ability. Yeah. So yeah. it could be a sore spot for us in the game going forward. Could be. Hopefully not. And Houston's going to take advantage of that, right? They're, they're not dummies. So honestly, their scrum right now is is the it's how they generated their points, and yeah. it's keeping them in the game. It's giving them, it's winning them the territory battle right now. It's how they want to play, and you know we have to respond, and, and we have, um, but we we have to continue to do that throughout the game here. Jonathan P. chiming in four penalties in the first thirteen minutes for the free kicks. Yeah, not good. Okay, I like that disruption there. At least not getting... straight, but it was a knock on, so yeah. not good. Playing with house money, Alatimu flat across into the midfield. Well gathered by Milan and Vanderbank. Alatimu again, dummy. Oh, Show and go. He's so good. Luckily, he didn't have options. There was a gap there. Yep. Uh, so so we're going back. Ooh, Vanderbank was over the ball. Might have had the penalty himself yeah, that, that they Cole were playing Keith with house cap, money. Yeah, he was applauding. Uh because we, we we could have had the turnover if there was no advantage there. So yeah. that's the fifth penalty. Yep. So in five. seventeen minutes. Yeah. Five. That's that they got to get that corrected, man. You'll never get this, Phil. But Jonathan P has chimed in five now. Yep, John, we're watching. And now that <laughs> now that you provided a count, now you provided we're, we're a count. Th thanks for the original count. Uh, uh, simple. That, yeah, you got us going. You got us going. Oh no! So this is not good. They've opted to go for the scrum. Yeah, man. I, I don't. I, you. I love this move from Houston. I don't like this for us. You get yeah. pinged enough in the scrum, and you get the good old slice of cheese. There's blood in the water. Uh, yeah. Houston knows it, and they're going after us, man. Yeah, we got to figure out something. I mean, I think you had <clears throat> said, I believe you had said this, or maybe it was Dave. You know, we just got to get to 50 minutes. You know, we got to switch. We'll we'll switch it out and put some starters in. Golly, look at that. Oh man, we were ripped apart. Yep. Yep. So one of the things, this is where Dave and I have had multiple discussions about this. Yep. He has said that the scrum should not be utilized as a penalty. It is not its purpose is not to be a penalty, a source of drawing penalties. Mm. But that's not how Anselmi is refing this match. So the ball was available at the back. Yes. Houston leaves it in the scrum on purpose Correct. to get us to, to pop up, to draw the penalty, yep. to kick to the corner. Correct. And so while 
yeah, look at the possession. It's absolutely dominant for Houston, 66 to 34. Now, while I don't disagree with these tactics, if this was going the other way for the Free Jacks, I'd be loving every minute of this. Sure. Uh, but I, it's like, dude, if the ball's available, make them use it. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, right to well, the front. No contest, right, right from the Free we're, Jacks. We're trying to defend the mall, which is rolling. I mean, good effort Stopped right once. now from the Free Jacks, right? We, we, we've got the signal. Larry's over the top. Sell me. Houston's released. Good tackle in yep. the midfield. See, we're good. We're doing a good job of swallowing them up in the tackle and slowing them, slowing down their ball. Houston hasn't had much quick ball, except for that one. Yeah, <laughs> that was right. pretty quick. Yep. See, it's getting yeah, messy it's a bit there. messy right at the breakdown. I see what you're saying. That's a big dude. Alatim was swinging. Now, this is where it gets Cuts a little shaky dancing. with the Free Jacks a little bit here. Yeah, but Vion Conradi, absolute monster what worker monster. out there. Free Jacks line is set. Yeah. That's a knock on, but that's also not that great for us. No advantage coming off sides. Ah, uh, okay. Man, that's six penalties. My goodness. Houston players down. I believe that's their blindside flanker. One Free Jack penalty. Two Free Jack penalty. Three Free Jack penalty. Man, uh, where are we off sides, though? Just quick line speed, man. Maybe everybody right there. Yeah. We didn't really set back foot. Yeah. But see, what's – I mean, we're giving away a lot of penalties, but what's encouraging is we're – make. I mean, look at how hard Houston is working Yeah. to get really nothing. I mean, what? if they didn't have set piece ascendancy, they'd sure. be in big-time trouble in this game. 100%. So we're through 20. And I think uh, that's the water break. There we go. Hydration break, folks. Almost got a call. This ref is a doofus. Jonathan P with, the, <laughs> with Jonathan penalty with the count at seven. Nah, thanks, Jonathan. Love that, dude, because I wasn't keeping track, but I would have said we have a bunch of penalties and you got the number right. This yeah. Is... And we all know that Anselmi just hates the free jacks, man. This guy dogs us every time we play. I don't latch onto that for nothing. You know? So listen to this, uh, right. just put out by Major League Rugby. This is Anselmi's 50th MLR match. They quote, and my here's a quote: Anselmi has tremendously impacted the league and North American referee development. There you go. I mean, yeah, he is one of the main referees. I mean, all right. At the end of the day, I just philosophically disagree with the way he manages games. Right. I just highlighted that with my description of how he's refereeing the scrum. Sure. I don't necessarily think he's the worst referee in the world. I actually think he is calling a pretty good game so far. So not far, bad. and we're just giving up the penalties. So yep. I'm not, I'm not like angry about it. Yep. But I mean, at the same time. How many penalties does Houston have? Like zero? Zero. But again, they've had the lion's share of possession, the lion's share of territory. We're very we're fortunate up. to be up 14-5. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're very fortunate. That's the Free Jacks, baby. I love to see it, dude. This guy, he was he was previously with Austin, the Mike man here. Yeah, he looks like he has spray-painted hair. <laughs> man. You got the leathery skin and the spray-painted hair. The Saber Bros, I believe is what the, these guys are. I think that's what they call themselves. I don't know. I love the get-ups, though. Yeah. Love the good. energy and the passion. Good. good for them. Yeah, so look at this. Kotsa looking to take for the three because you know why? And that's smart because they're like, listen, dude, the last time we got down here, we made a mistake. Yeah. We got stuffed. Let's take the easy points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, listen, they're, they've been com- – Connor Key's jersey malfunction is four is going away. Uh-oh. Well, last week he didn't even have a kid on, so there you go. Dude, that was incredible. It was wild. <laughs> Gary DeWitt in there with the uh, – yeah, he, he big impact. He screws up every game. <laughs> uh, He's done fine so far. I would He's say debatable fine. whether he screws up the game, but, but man, you know what, though? At least – Speaking of screws up, they uh, yeah. Houston missed that. Off the back. I yep. think – listen, and at least Ed Selmy lives on the edge, man. There you at go. least he gets out there and does it. So better him than me. I right. wouldn't want to be out there getting criticized Same. by some asshole like me. <laughs> so maybe I should send him a Christmas card. This sun in the, in the I, I don't know if this is the move, man. Like this, in the camera, you can't see anything. Brutal. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. Tough. Yeah, that's tough. It really is. It's crazy. It's like at a perfect point where it just Look, blinds you can the entire. See, yeah, you can see the the camera from the other side. There, they're completely in the sun. Yeah. Wild. 
line out free jacks hopefully we don't jack this one up all right sean we'll see what you got kid all right not bad keys are off the top whoop flat ball oof could be okay good i thought i might have lost that going okay. short side potty short side. kick exposed yes Patros. Unbelievable, My dude. Boy. Our boy. Jason Patros is absolutely shredding the Houston Sabercats. You love the quick it, switch man. of the field from the Free Jacks. Dude, I think we've touched the ball four times and scored three. It's, it's incredible. incredible. Watch this. So off the line out, keys off the top. Nordley Kelametti hard to Milan into the line. Quick recycle, short side. Houston completely sleeping. Jason <laughs> Patros with the kick and the pick. Unreal. And he dots it down. AJ Unreal. Alatimu is stunned. They Houston have poops in their pants in Houston. Houston peeing down their leg. Oh, look at that. Oh, unbelievable. Jacks. Potty is just having fun, man. He's Get this man on the All Blacks. Fun. I don't know about that, Horkin. But I don't know about that. Um, listen, man, this is beautiful to see. Houston dominant in territory. Houston dominant in the scrum. Houston dominant in possession. Shit don't matter, man. Don't make a damn. Free Jack said, F you. And Patros nails the sinks conversion. It, sinks it. 21 wow. 8. Free Jacks with the lead. We've had, what, seven penalties, too? Don't make a damn. We'll just score for fun. 23 <laughs> minutes in, 21 to the good guys. Houston 8. He's bloody magic. Horkin says, "Get this. Imagine if the imagine the score if we could settle the scrum." I'm yeah. telling you, as a forward, you're an old forward. I would rather see flair than knuckle dragging, and it wins games most of the time. Wow, regathered by Houston, the wind played in that one. You saw the ball hang up, hang up high in the wind. Houston's back on the charge here, just across the Free Jacks 10 meter line. Alatimu out the back into the midfield. Okay. Huge gap. Oh, man. Wow, they're shredding us. Kotza. Yep. Well, good scramble from the Free Jacks. We're messing it up at the breakdown. Connor Key's in there. Slow ball. Yep. That's free. Yep. Ah. Wayne Vanderbank. But what's the advantage for this time, Anselmi? Oh, oh looks like he's going to show yeah. us some cheese. We're going to see a slice of cheese here. Craft America. What's it for? But see, this is where I, I hate this man, dude. For what? For what? And on who? Wayne Vanderbank going to the bench. For what? Oh, man. Not good. Was he coming in from the side and slowing things down at the rock? Is that what the call is? I don't. Yeah. yeah. We'd have to turn on the sound to figure right. out what the call. I didn't even think Vanderbank was around. Yeah, I think he was the one that uh, that got there at the end which calls the whistle unbelievable having a seat a but you see this is the thing man is like and sell me kind of just keeping them in the match <laughs> so all right so for the fans at home this is what i watch how quickly the ball becomes available at the back of this scrum they're going to probably look to drive this one over the line the free jacks really just need to to get it so where is the penalty so this is the breakaway here Jason with one arm, never going to take that. Vanderbank. Oh, on his feet. For what? It's, he's oh. be, that's what it. Walked around the side. Yeah, walked yeah, around, walked the, around side, the side. Yeah, side here they go. Right. Here they go. Oh, my God. Cam Nordley Calametti strips. Great job, Cam. That should have been a knock on. Held up. What? You can't give that try. He's on his you, back, no. man. Wow. He's on his oh, back. Oh, man. And sell me, you're a dork, dude. This is why I hate this guy because he doesn't. This is it's what I don't try. This is what I don't like about him, dude. You just gave the try and you don't even want to have a second guess at it. Let's see this again wow. because I think he's on his back. Maybe we're wrong. We could be wrong. Let's see. But I'm pretty sure they knocked it on back here, too. So here's the strip. That's a. Oh, oh no. It goes, nope, okay. Nope, it goes backwards. backwards. Here's what flat pass. See. Mitch Wilson. Oh no, he gets oh, it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets it down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Ah, oh, dude, I hate Anselmi though. I just hate his stupid face. <laughs> Another tough kick, but at least we're making them work for it. Yeah, man. And we can't really complain given uh going so, down a man and getting By the way, my score try. prediction is out the window at this point. But uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I was saying defensive slug fast. Nah, nah. High octane offense, baby. Here we go. Alatimu holding the ball. 
Whoa. Whoa. Wind. That wind is getting The wind jacked. whipped it in front. That yep. was a crazy, crazy kick. Uh, they are kicking into the wind. Yes. Which, again, that actually, again, so both of Houston's scores have come off when they have regathered their, the restart. Yep. We need to we need to work on that. Restart and scrums were getting dominated. Yep. Uh, so just make sure you're taking note of that for the review show. Restarts mm. and scrums. I mean, we won't forget about the scrums. The sun is finally settling, so the, yeah, the, glare, see, yeah. the glare looks like two giant disco laser beams <laughs> <laughs> slicing the field. It's actually pretty They're cool actually looking. They're yellow and black, so it's perfect for Houston. Yeah, right? dude, it looks pretty cool, not going to lie. But wow. Both teams actually not great on the restart. No. What the, what is the is going high, on? High tackle? No injury. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is the second time he's been down. Oh no, nope. Sorry. The other one was their six. This is not their six. I think that might be their eight. Thought he was wearing a scrum cap. The six is wearing a scrum cap. How many minutes left? Is that seven or three? Twenty-seven, uh, twenty-seven gone. So 13 minutes left in the first half. No, I'm saying half. the uh, the yellow card there on the our, uh, our Oh, uh, seven. Is that seven? Okay. Yeah. All right, we got Tim Crowley chiming in. This is fun. I'm trying to watch from Japan, and your broadcast is way ahead of what I'm seeing on TRN. Uh, so we're at 27 minutes, uh, 12 seconds, which I guess everybody would be at this point. Um, because Gary the, DeWitt uh, chiming in. Off. Acid trip. Don't know what that means, Gary, but you right <laughs> oh probably referencing the lights okay yeah gotcha all right so we're looking so, for something here with tmo and also i think and has got a comms issue something's going on there well and Selmy doesn't use the tmo so i don't uh, know why he cares yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. hopefully it's not another card for the free jacks that but knowing and sell it probably is i'm watching a replay of yeah something. They're, they're looking at something here Maybe a hit off the ball. Something. The lasers from Gary. Freaking laser beams. Yeah, man. Hopefully you all enjoy our commentary. I think that we're actually starting to gel. These are getting a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Do you think that I have a future in this? I think I could do this. I think I could be in the booth. Yeah. You I, know? I mean, maybe, you know less referee bashing when you're uh when you're in the i booth, think that would be yeah. completely unacceptable yeah, yes they I wouldn't need like to, that. i need to they remove that. that i'll tell you what though 100 yeah. percent, i am better than the guy that they have for nola gold nola gold it. dude that guy screams into his microphone <laughs> all the time it looks like we're getting another card oh hell shoulder on the ground oh maybe oh, not okay i mean maybe he's just we've saying, already hey, had man. a card so just a warning i think that's fair yeah but again, I mean, so uh, what's that penalty count? Nine, eight, yeah. nine. That's nine terrible. and twenty-seven minutes, and a card. That's yeah. not going to make your dreams come true, Bozo. It we'll really is very. We're very fortunate to be up eight points, dude. Yeah, Potty's brilliant. Says I uh, kept us really in this match. Yeah. I mean, the tale of this first half is set piece dominance. Yep, from Houston. That's right. But I mean, Houston looks very shaky defensively. I mean, they can't be happy with their defensive I think, performance. Give us some credit too, right? Like we're 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 getting it done in the backs. We're just absolutely dazzling them. Bruising run, but he's well gathered from the bus. Absolutely massive collisions coming on out there. They're the big boys. Nothing so on for Houston. So the Gary Owen from AJ Alatimu, Potty goes up for it. You know, uh, one of my criticisms of Potty that what I've noticed is as a as a fly half, he's excellent. As a fullback, maybe not so much. Mm. He gets beat in the air a lot. He got beat by uh, Taniella for a try. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. He's pretty perfect at ten. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, you can't, uh, I'll yeah. It there, right? it, it yeah. Yeah. It is what it. It is sure, what it be. It is what it be. Little pop over the top from Cam Nordley Kelametti, just out in front of the twenty-two. Very important ball placement. Good Whoa. Man. AJ Alatimu offloads to a fun. hard charge in Kotza, yeah. who's up close to the halfway line. Alatimu out the back. There's nobody home. Three on one out there. Whoa. He was held in the tackle. He's not allowed to stand up like that. Where are you, Anselmi? You, oh, my God. 
That's a blown call in my that's, opinion. That's a, that's a penalty. From yeah. Blown. But before that, the guy was held in the tackle and then just got up through sure. the tackle. Like, all right, if that's the way he's going to play it, Houston yeah. on the charge now. Finally getting some quick ball, and they're, they're actually pretty deadly with it. No doubt. Oh, picked off, yeah, but we're gonna go another and sell me penalty. Let me guess. High tackle, I think, from Milan is where we're going to go here. Yeah. Oh, man. Very frustrating half here. Yeah, high tackle, he called that it. 10 penalties? Jeez. So we're coming up hard charge in Kotza. Nobody picks him up. Oof. Missed tackle somewhere. I can't. couldn't see what free jack missed him, but that's, a, that's not hard. Or that's a hard, difficult tackle to make. But I want to show you, it's this one here. He is, oh, okay, he's not held. It looked like he was. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm getting these calls wrong in real time. <laughs> I'm a clown. It's tough, right? It's tough. It's dude. not easy. Nope. Yeah, you're right. LaRue Milan on a tackle close to the sideline, yeah. and Alatimu will boot it out at the five. And okay. We'll have another set. I mean, we, we've done well against their mall. So we'll see how this goes, man. Yeah, Would just under us. just under five minutes. I mean, look at the tackle Packers, count. Jeez. Larry uh, chirping at Anselmi. Four minutes left on Anselmi, that yellow, too. We're 500 when you're the ref, dude, because you're an absolute fucking clown. All right. Tackles missed. Eight by the Free Jack. Six for Houston. Barely getting it out of their own mall. Stuffed. Bad option by Alatimi. We had options out wide. All yes, right. The Free Jacks. All right. You wow. love to see it, man. Can we say the first penalty against Houston? Wow. That's unreal, right. Dude. It's about effing time. 30 thanks, minutes in. Thanks, huh? Federico, you bozo. Nice. So where's Jason? 421, 20, 420. Smoke him if there you got is. him left on the yellow card. Yep. All right. So obviously we're going to go for the sideline. We're going to need a good yeah. line out and a, get, and a good platform. Here, yeah. Hopefully Jason's got something nice and cooked up. Nice little set piece wizardry here to get us. Uh, can you imagine if we score a try? So let's see. <laughs> so this is a, a terrible option by Alatimu. Terrible yes. option. Yeah, you don't. You don't want. And then there. Milan right over it. Oh, Great job. how good! Great jackal. How good! Welcome and so back, Larue, by the way. Yeah. yeah. How good. All righty. So we've had a little bit of trouble at lineout time. The wind seems to be going, blowing across the field towards mm -hmm. Sean Ralph right now. If you mm -hmm. look at the flag, so that could be good for us. Oh, oh my goodness, by dude. Can't have it, man. Was Free that, Jacks. That this, so remember how I was talking about key to the game. It's yep. stuff like that. You, you can't let that go. We get out of Dodge. We've literally made like a hundred tackles to so Houston's like 10. <laughs> it's like, dude, ugh. Yeah. The only thing that's good is Houston is quite literally exhausting themselves, mm -hmm. trying to put something together and attack, and we haven't allowed them. My concern is with the tackle number being almost 70 before halftime. We've still got 10 minutes to go. Like, I'm a little concerned about our uh, ability to partial uh, charge down. Yep. Partial charge down there. Last touch by Houston, though, I would say it's going to be, it should be a free jacks line out. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. So we're just over the halfway line. 30, almost 32 minutes gone. 245 left on the yellow card. Free Jacks will get another bite at the apple, just this time on the opposite side of the field for the line out. Hopefully we don't get sniffed out this time. Very yeah. good defensively. I think it was Johan Momsen last time, yep. which he that, used to terrorize that us. That man again, Johan. <laughs> he would terrorize us at, for Atlanta. We go to the back, Great nicely job. gathered by take. Connor Keys. Oh, no, that was Larry. Yes, yeah. yeah. Larry. Larry. Yeah, yeah. Larry, you're so Larry. technical. All right, so both teams seem to have neutralized each other with smalls. Yep. Here we go. Northern Calamity, flat, flat ball flat. to Milan. Nice, tough up there. Jason Potras throwing the, throwing the bones in there. Yep. Good that's, Lord. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's right. You were engaged. Yep. Get the hell out of here. Oh, no, it's against us. Of course oh, it is. Of Ed course Selby. it is, and sell me, dude. He's teasing us, man. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking fuck, fuck. I hate that guy so much. Oh, nope. my God. There dude. it is. He's over. Jesus Christ. We're falling apart. Federico, dude. Way to keep him in the game. Oh, my God. Here Very are. frustrating right now. Very frustrating. Yep. Good point. <sighs> Quickly taken. Free Jack sleeping. Oh, my God. Just sets oh, up beautifully. What a bounce. Yeah. What a bounce for them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Good game. <laughs> Good game. 
Yeah, but what's what's so frustrating about the game is we barely have seen the Free Jacks play with ball in hand. Yeah. Like we, we might have had ball in hand for like quite literally, I'm not even shitting you, about two minutes of this half. But what's encouraging is that we have 21 points, which is, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's pretty wild stuff, man. Uh, and by the way, they keep scoring in the corner, so it makes their conversions difficult, right? So yeah. we'll see how this goes. Yeah, and he's been fighting the wind too, which they'll have next half. Yeah. Oh man, dude. Good lord. But we got to get the penalties under control yeah. or we are or eventually I, I what I fear is Houston will run away with it so if we don't get that under control. Yeah. Like and we'll be and we'll, we'll be singing the tale of we were lucky to get the points that we got. Exactly. Looks like it's going to push across the front yeah. again. A little cross face there. Yep. Right. And so the kicking actually ends up being the difference right now because Houston would have an additional six points That's and be right. up 24 yep. 21 if not for the kicking. So we're down to what? 21 to 18. The Free Jacks still have the lead. Four, Less three, than a two. For Wayne his, Vanderbank uh, is uh, yep, coming, back on. coming back on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we are fighting the wind in the second. Yep. Which is not great. So. Uh, John P calling us out. It's been three minutes since the last penalty. It was time for another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're about right. I think Anselmi has one of those vibrating watches. Yeah, right. Which it, yeah. It, when it vibrates, it tells him it ping the free jacks again. It comes from uh, Dallas at uh, free, uh, the uh, MLR headquarters. It, yeah. Somebody just presses a button and it sets it off. Hilarious. All righty. So another uh, Caterpillar Ruck. And the kick will go out. Knock on. Knock on by Houston. That's not good for us, though. No. I don't like to see that. I think it might have gone out of bounds first. Okay. So it will be to the Free Jacks. Looks like they're Mandos. setting for a scrum. God damn it. Here we go. See, normally would be fine with this. Yeah. But we are but, about to get absolutely run the fuck over. Yeah, Houston, the biggest pack in the league, set up by design this way. They nine to two, scrum dominance. Nine to two, not great. Um, oh boy, it needs to be a quick hook and hundred percent. And get this ball to, out to the back as yeah. soon as possible. Yeah, we and Conradi, be on alert, pal. Good lord. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, the yeah, short yeah. arm well, penalty. Early, yeah, early right. engage, right? Yep. So got there the you short go. Arm. We'll take that. And off we go. This is how the Free Jacks want to play in this game, I think. They want room Milan hard to the line. Yep. Picked wow. from Wayne Vanderbeck. No high tackle there. Dude was on his neck. No hands in the ruck there. Dude's slowing it down. Stick your fucking arm out. God damn it, Federico, you fuck. Oh, my God, dude. I fucking hate this guy. Excuse stolen my language. The, uh, I Excuse my language, but I Houston. effing hate this guy. He's such a clown, dude. Mitch Wilson shooting up out of the line. Tackles being let go of. Super aggro right off that set of play. Good Lord. Around the neck of Vanderbank. Hands all over it in the ruck. Yeah, hold him up. Ugh. All right. We seem to be going for the strip. Yeah, we're trying to go for double tackles. Yep. And the strip, it looks like. Nice take from Paula Balacana. The, the king himself. He's great in the king air. Paula. Yeah, he is. Yes. All right, so here we go. Jason. Free Jacks finally playing ball in hand. Let's just play. Laying all over the deck. And Selmy refuses to put the arm out. It's getting pretty aggravating. Houston laying north-south all over the deck. And Anselmi won't penalize them. He's not even really watching them. Yep, he's penalized. He's pinged us again. Come on, boys, you got to play better than that. He's very confusing when he puts an arm out like that. It, you know what I'm saying? Like it, he's holding it up for us, and then he switches it over to them. Yeah, it's because he don't forgets. Like that, well, man. the thing that the thing that's frustrating me is Houston's right over the ball, yeah. and and he'll ping us immediately. Yeah, but they're all over our ball. And he just lets them like he literally just lets them hang out yeah, on our ball it's really messy. as we're clearing them. Down. So yeah. he to me, again, he's just he's just so damn inconsistent. He's so damn inconsistent. Dangerous tackle. Hmm. A reverse penalty. Ooh. Fucking finally. Oh, wow. You listen to your TMO, you bozo. 
God, I freaking hate this man, dude. What is uh Settle down. I'll give you five more penalties in second half. <laughs> Cheese dick. Oh my gosh. I'm wearing my clown t-shirt next time that dude comes to four oh, points. Yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm a, I'm a make sure he sees me Love wearing that. it too. Love that. 38 minutes gone. Probably gonna be the last set of play. So barring anything crazy happening, uh, this probably will be our halftime score. Uh, if the free jacks can't put something together, I or unless again, unless something crazy happens. I mean, the whole game for the free jacks has been insane. Yeah, we you have I mean? we were crafty, like, but we haven't been able to put anything together, man. We've been all right, Connor Keys. Up oh, little trick. Look at this. Trickeration. The bus away to Cam Northly Carol Meddy. He's on the Stay run. Stay with it. Stay with it. He's got support. Not releasing it. Not releasing Look the man this. on the ground. He's not releasing him. Sir. God. Man. My goodness. And sell me. Pay attention. Every other referee would have called that in this league. Or if it was Houston on us, he would have absolutely right. called that. It's the free I mean, jacks. That was pretty blatant, eight. man. Okay. Free jacks on the run. Patras. Out the back. McDonald. Get over. Yeah, we got support. There we go. We're all right. Coming back the other way. Swole Keith. There you go. Swole, Swole Keith. Up, Swole. Another penalty, finally. Yeah. Offsides. Offsides yep. Take the points. Take the points, boys. Take the 100%. points. Take the three and go into the let go to take the three and go into the sheds. It's an easy shot. No, no, oh. I don't like this call. I don't like this call. Very interesting by the free jacks. Turning well, away the three points and going for five or seven. Well, right I now. will say this. It's it's high percent. Uh, well, it well. And by the way, uh, yeah, the I'm likelihood surprised. of Houston scoring is probably none. But also, we have the wind, right? We saw them have so much difficulty. That's going to be our end next time. Take the three here. We're on the road. Well, bonus point is on the table too. So win yeah. or lose, here you get go. a bonus point. Here we go. So it's been taken down. Yep. Placed back cleanly. Taken on by Sean Ralph. Clever little. Uh, so Johan Momsen, not like laying all over him, dude. Come on. Tight from the free jacks. Malachi Hala places back. Wayne Vanderbank <laughs> bouncing. He's impossible Bowling. to tackle. Try Wayne again. Five. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. All right. I take it back. So despite <laughs> their best efforts, uh, the free jacks this are winning. This game is insane. This, this game look is insane. Look at the stat line and then look at the score line. It doesn't make sense, man. It does not make sense. But we're that's already the free on, jacks, man. And we're already on bonus point territory. And this Insane. should be a relatively this should be a relatively easy conversion for look at this cutback. Like <laughs> he's insane. If I'm a Houston fan, I'm furious. Of course. I'm furious. Of course. Wayne Vanderbake is a dude. He's a dude. And Jason Patras slams home the conversion. I cannot believe this game right now, man. It's insane. I cannot man. believe this game. So we are up by 10 going into the sheds. Uh, we are going to have to get sorted in the second half, though. Uh, no doubt. Somehow the New England Free Jacks are up by 10. And I cannot wait to see this halftime stat lines. The penalties overwhelmingly on the Free Jacks side. Territory, possession, Houston all day long. Yep. Scrum dominance by Houston. Set piece dominance pretty much by Houston. Um, how we're winning this game is <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah, man. Let me tell you. So we got Unreal, Huzzah, Unreal. what we've been missing. Big ass plays from Wesley Burrow. Yep. Love that, Coach Burrow. Here's the thing. Yeah. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. And that's what the Free Jacks have. They have big time players. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and also don't forget, we're up by 10 points, having basically been completely obliterated in the scrums, 100%. having like none of the possession, none of anything. And then we also had a yellow card. Yeah, we were yeah. down to 14 men for a while. This makes zero sense, no but sense I love it, man. I love it. It's incredible. I love how wacky this team is. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we shouldn't be winning this game. Dude, and the, the yeah, some frustrating penalty. You know what though? Of course. I, I, I've been yeah. Here's the thing. I'd like to uh, apologize to absolutely <laughs> nobody, absolutely nobody for my outbursts. Hell Forget yeah. that guy. Hell I will yeah. try to drop some of the f bombs. We do have nine people uh, watching us. Uh, 
<laughs> Everyone oh. talking shit about how the Free Jacks would be third in the West is about to get silenced. But listen, you can't. All right, so Still with the play. whole conference thing, that's from Coach Burho. Yeah, uh, this is a good this is a good uh, segue conversation. Yeah. The West has been has been better yes. uh, for now like four seasons, seasons straight. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, since the Giltini days, but at the right. same time, it's like yeah, I don't. Eh, Who won it's the not championship our, last yeah, year? We did. Yeah, you know it's not I mean? our fault that DC sucks and yeah. Nola sucks. <laughs> we, I mean, it's not our fault that we're in a tomato can conference to a certain right. extent. You know right. what I mean? That's not our fault. Nope. You know, no, nope. we, we can't assemble the other teams. Correct. Yeah. I, you know? Yeah. So I you can. you play who's in front of you, and it is what it is. So for real. Yeah. For real. Well, hey, listen. Technical difficulties seem to be a thing of the past. This is great. This has been far more great enjoyable experience. since last week. One hundred percent. Last the last time I was here, I was like, "Hello, darkness, my old friend." Oh God, it was terrible. It was pretty. It was pretty rough. It now we, we 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 got it together there in like the last twenty, you know, and it was pretty good. But this has been fantastic. Well, man. the one thing that I've liked about it again is like there really is no lag, right? The Roku is it just looks rolling. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. This is the way to go for yeah. sure. I just don't know how I didn't realize that that was a thing. So for people that don't know, I, you know, um, for Christmas one year, I got a projector uh, and I was like, okay, we're going to do watch alongs. It's going to be great. And I was like, all right, but how am I going to get this thing from like the rugby network? How am I going to make this a screen? Yeah. And so like, I just deep dived in the completely wrong direction. Okay. So I bought this like Bluetooth transmitter. Mm. So I've got like, it, listen, it's not the most high quality projector in the world. It's an Amazon special. It, it gets the job done. But it gets the job done. Yeah. Right. But so I get another like Bluetooth thing and I'm watching all these videos about how to connect it <laughs> and all this other stuff. And it's right. just these cheesy branded stuff. It's not great. And so, and it had worked fantastic uh, all last season and has worked for me. But for whatever reason, last week, mm -hmm. I think it was, there was, or not last week, two weeks ago, there was some weather up here. And so there was internet issues just right. in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it really just exposed how bad, and the Bluetooth thing was never a great option anyway, because sometimes it would pick it up. Sometimes it wouldn't. Yeah. And there's extreme lag or whatever. And then all of a sudden we're like, yo, just get a Roku, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Ranger Cindy, Cindy throwing that out there in the yeah. chat. Uh, yeah. Good for her, man. Yeah, that was awesome. That's right. Appreciate I forgot. It. Yeah. 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 It Ranger was from Cindy, the chat. Yeah. We're like, hey, does anybody have any better options? Like, yeah, just get a Roku. Yeah. <laughs> and literally, it's this little stick. It plugs right into the HDMI port, right. just like, by the way, that Bluetooth transmitter. Yes. So I was like, yeah, it's been way better. Yeah, it's been great. Incredible. I mean, it's been, uh, there's no lag either. It's, it's been awesome. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, so I mean, listen. So Free Jacks twenty eight, Saber Cats eighteen. I think uh, all score predictions that we went over have been shattered because yep. I believe I said twenty four, twenty one. Yes, you had a about three point victory for us. Yeah, so, yeah, we're beyond both all of the scores at this point. Um, anybody in the chat want to jump on? Diamond Dave. Anybody yeah, out if there? anybody on on the chat wants to come. Yeah, give us your halftime thoughts. Anybody out there, whether it be in chat comments or you want to uh, you want to come on to the live stream, Bozo, I'll send you a link. Yep. You just make sure you either DM me on Facebook or on Insta. Well, I don't have my Instagram up, but DM me on Facebook or at Bozo Six Actual on Instagram. Yeah. And I will DM you the link. We don't put the link in the chat. <laughs> no, absolutely not. That would be insane. Um, but I will say this. I want to give a shout out to our buddies out there on the Seacoast, the Seacoast Rangers at Locals Restaurant out there. I'm sure they have a good crowd of people that may have never seen rugby before. They're really growing that thing within that uh, that pub there yeah, for the away that. games. So best of luck to them uh, and continued success for the uh, Seacoast Rangers. Yeah, I love that. Uh, listen, man, I'm so happy. Ranger Hork, and uh, if you want, slide into my DMs, and Absolutely. we can we can definitely have you over here. I mean, I don't think it's worth a flight <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, across the pond, but if you're ever uh, in the New England area, uh, you can definitely get you out here, man. It's it's sure. not hard. Let's just put it this way: I'm in the woods, but I'm not hard to get to. No, no, uh, it's no. pretty easy. Yep. Uh, so he's definitely in the sticks though. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, even that, not, not really, it, it gets more sticks in New Hampshire than Oh, a hundred percent. Oh yes. yeah. But my, my home is physically located in the woods. For when sure. I was driving here today, no joke. There's two huge deer, like just staring at me as I'm driving through. Yeah, definitely. So, definitely. wildlife. Yeah. You know, what's interesting too, about that, where I live, uh, there's a huge pond and then there's, a uh, a lot of swamps around here. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, I mean, there's homes everywhere, but, um, 
because of that, there's they're just there's just a lot of trees uh, and there's just a lot of woods still around and they kind of connect to the neighborhoods. And so animals can will, you know, cross roads or cut through people's yards oh, yeah. and they're right back into the woods in the wilderness. And so you can get a lot of them. I have a I have a game camera that I put out in my woods over here. Yep. I've seen foxes, all sorts of stuff. Nice. All right. Horkin says, I'm near UNH. I'm sure I can find the sticks. All right, dude, I'll put it this way. If you're at UNH, you're within an hour of where yeah, I'm yeah. at for sure. So for sure. High sp- there's multiple high speed avenues of approach to the bunker. hundred yeah. percent. I just won't tell you which ones. Uh, but there's not many in New Hampshire, so figure it uh, out. Yeah, it's, it's easy. <laughs> easy to try and figure it thing. out. Um, yeah, man. Overall halftime thoughts. Are you I mean overall halftime thoughts? I'm pissed, man. I'm yeah. not happy. I'm not happy. We we gotta get the we cannot listen. We, we're up by 10 points, but that lead is so fragile. Yeah, it means nothing. It is so fragile, man. It can quickly turn. Uh, because Anselmi has already slow shown us one slice of cheese. Right. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to deliver another slice of cheese to the free jacks for repeated infringements at the scrum. Ill discipline ir- rearing um, its ugly head. We are again. against the wind in the second half. Yep. We also kick off to houston in the second half right so i mean being down by 10 one one converted luckily they haven't been able to convert their tries yep. but one converted try and houston's right back in the conversation they're more than capable uh the one thing that i will say uh to what I, I guess the one thing that i'm pleased about is i i think that we have done well defensively yes um and i think it's kind of crazy we look like the more fresh team bro yeah like they look tired yep. and aj alatimu man he's not listen He's a great fly half. He's, he's a no great Jason player. Patras. But yeah, he's not picking good options right now for yeah. them. Um, and so we're really stymieing them our, our, you know, on on, def- on defense. They yeah. haven't been able to find the wide channels like Chicago yeah. uh, did a couple of weeks ago. And Chicago, you know, made us pay out there. Yeah. Uh, and I think I think it's kind of well known that any team can make us pay out there, but the Free Jacks make it incredibly difficult for us to get out there. They sure do. Yep. What are these polka dot jerseys for the Those Jackals? For while, what is this clownery? They? Yeah. Oh, what a viciously high tackle that was. Joe Mono ripping his head off. Interesting scoreline for Dallas, you know, winning this game. Good yeah, play. good for them. I don't think that they've won at home very much. No. Uh, I think they beat like Toronto. I, I don't think that they have very many uh, home wins, but dude, they're definitely a team to be respected. They're not the same. Hideous. They're not the same Dallas Jackals. No. They surely are not. They sure aren't. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure uh, Rick Collins is just thrilled with that result. Yeah, and and the rest of the hundred fans that are there. <laughs> Ranger Horkin, man, send send me a message on uh, Instagram. We'll get you on, dude. Yeah, man, come on on. So we got. What is that? What else did he say? He said he'll make his way up for a watch along one day when he's done with his time in London. Love yeah, that. Yeah. All right, we'll be here. You know where we're at. New Orleans at San Diego on Sunday. Charlotte at Chicago, I think. Couldn't couldn't quite read that before it went off the screen here. Um, yeah, here's the standings. Seattle, 24 points. Houston, 23 with a game in hand. New England, 19 points. Nola Gold, 15 points. Um, I think this is what people were talking about, though. Look at Dallas. Losing record, 3-4. and four. Woof. With a positive, you know, with a positive twenty point differential, yeah, but nineteen points, the same as our free jacks at four and one. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, but two games in hand right now, though. Two uh, games exactly. in hand because they have they're three and four, so they have seven games. We only have six games yeah. played, so or five, sorry. So we'll have our sixth game played. I I cannot wait for this uh, the stat lines to come up here at halftime. Ranger Horkin chiming in would be very scared to see these guys in the final if we both made it. I well, agree. listen, I feel the same way about that for sure. I mean, I like our chances against anybody, but. This is a damn good Houston team, man. Emily Parkhurst chiming in, hoping the Free Jacks won't have trouble swimming through the humidity in the ah. second half. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it, it kick off 82 degrees, Yeah, which is not cold by any means. I mean, it, it was 49 degrees here today. Uh, What's Ranger Horkin on Instagram? I'll send him a message. I think it's Jay Horkin something. Oh yeah, Jay Horkin one six. There you go. I was gonna say one nine, but there we go. Yeah, it's forty four degrees here, so oh, quite yeah. a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, man. Again, un uh, unreal that we're winning this game. But I, as you're saying, I think the ill discipline has to stop. You're just yeah. you're 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 gonna bleed out. 
you cannot con- you know continue to win this game in the in the second half if you're going to have 10 penalties. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You know what I would also find uh, yes, and what I would find encouraging though is while Ranger Horkin is correct. He he put in the chat that some magic from a few backs is what's kept us in this game that yes. we're absolutely getting smashed. Yes. And I, I would agree, but that last passage of play before the half, win a penalty, kick it out, and take it. And we actually went through the phases like our phase play, we're we're opening Houston up and and we're hurting them. Like mm-hmm. they're having trouble defending us. We just don't have enough ball. Right. You know? Yeah. And it's like, so we just need more time, no more time on it. And again, we need to wear them out, man. Like we're wearing them out on attack. Like they're struggling very hard uh, for their points, mm-hmm. uh, which is great. Yeah. Uh, but we need to now easy. we yeah. need to now put them on the back foot when we need to return fire. We haven't really had much return fire. It's true. Are they- the only way we can fix penalties? <laughs> All right, we got Ranger Horkin. Let's go. Chiming right, in. Here we go. Intern James. Hey, AKA we can't hear you, Ranger Horkin. I can't hear. Can you hear me? Hmm. Check the um hold on. Are you can you hear? Okay. Nothing? No, he's not. Hold on. Check our at the bottom there where where the the mic is. Yeah. We're not muted. If you if you click that little arrow, yeah, make sure that it's going through, I guess, your earphones. Mm. Right. Looks like in the chat they can hear me. Uh, Might be a bozo issue. Hold on. Oh man, Technical possession here. Let me. Uh, so we got Houston sixty three percent possession territory fifty three for Houston. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by. It. I thought it would be more penalties conceded ten to four. Um, Tackles made 86 tackles by the Free Jacks to Houston's 37. Tackles missed 18 for us. Houston, 12. Lineouts won 67% only for the Free Jacks, 100% for Houston. Do, 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 do. I mean, yeah. if you Bozo. just look at this, you say there's no way the New England Free Jacks are winning this game, it's and brutal. yet we're up by 10. I bet you the stream can hear you, Ranger James. I can't. For some reason, uh, it has my speakers as my focus right. I didn't change it and i'm trying to find which one jim knox yeah this is the guy from um oh brutal all right hold on the, I'm gonna the hide you, james from so I can figure day. this out what is this all right give me one second i'm gonna figure this out All right, uh, we're, we've got kickoff once again here for the second half. New England kicking off to Houston. Good take by Houston, and as we anticipate here, it's going to be a caterpillar uh, binding situation for a scrum half kick. Oh, right. a little bounce on that. It's a knock-on for New England. They've completely fucked it. Oh, and man. we're going to go back here to the advantage. New advantage, New England. What? Bozo, can you uh, hear penalty. me now? Penalty. Yeah, I got penalty. you, Ranger James. We got yes. you. What uh, what time stamp you got? We're at 4047. 4047 for Yeah, same out there thing. I lined myself up. up with you guys. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so apologize for that. Uh, for some reason, it would not allow me to select my headphones, only my uh, – so I have a focus right. It splits the audio. So Phil and I are on mics and it was only allowing me to select speakers through there. So I had to switch cables to the red one instead of the black one. We got a line out from Sean Ralph, but what were your halftime thoughts real quick as, as the free Jacks take the line out? Oh, it, it was a brutal half, but we're getting away with it with some magic from Patras and Wayne Vanderbanker getting us through this half. We are very lucky to be 10 up, but as you guys mentioned, those 10 points could go in a matter of seconds if they get two scrums on us. Yeah. Going out wide here for the free. Well, we are slicing them to bits. Uh, it's been incredible. Is that Ben Lesage? Ben Lesage and 22s out there. Nice. So he probably came on for Vanderbank, I think, or Milan. Or Milan, yeah. 
So if he came on from Milan, I bet you Vanderbank steps to the inside center. Sure. Free Jack's playing excellent, excellent rugby right Ball now. Ball hand, yep. Houston doesn't want to tackle anybody. Love to see it. Patras says, grease on those bones. <laughs> the man can do no wrong Bruce today. Donald. He's tackled Anselmi. No, he wasn't on, off his feet yet. Sure Houston had held him up. thought his knees were down. It's been a very physical match. What is uh, – I don't know if Ranger Horkin can hear me, but uh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Ranger James, uh, what does the Free Jacks need to do to win this game in the second half here? Oh, to win this game, we need to – ooh, Patras. To win this game, we just need to be safe for the ball, it really minimize the set piece, minimize the scrum opportunities they have. Any knock-ons are giving them a platform to score. So as long as we – We got house money right now. We're, play we're playing with advantage. Uh, we lost it forward. I'd love to see the Free Jacks go for the sticks here and put three in. 31-18 makes it's a very, very kickable ball. Absolutely. I'd Absolutely. love to see them to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Kick Going the for points. the corner. Yeah, not advisable here. Please, please pick out the tee. Yep. Come on. Yeah, someone's pointing at the sticks. Yep. Hala's pointing at the sticks. I think that that's what they're doing. They're trying well, to decide. It should be Mitch Jacobson calling this, right? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Hala wasn't wasn't uh, calling it. He was yeah, pointing yeah. at the sticks. Right, right. Oh, no, Patrick is going, going for the corner. corner. Yeah. Oh, Listen, very interesting by the free jacks. This could man. really, really hurt Houston though if we come out and put another put another it, seven on them, a fourteen point swing within a couple of minutes. It's a great point, but you're on but the road. The We've seen how dominant Houston can be, especially in the forward area. I would take the three here. And normally, if I'm at home, I'm rolling my eyes if we're doing that. But here, I, I'm taking that three points all day long. Yeah. Well, it's a nice secure line out from it the sure free jacks is. this time. It's beautiful. Lie. It's going sideways. That's all right. So Sean, Rowe, <laughs> what is happening, <laughs> dude? That's a dumb penalty to give away. Dumb oh. penalty to get away. Let's go, Sean Ralph. Just stays bound to the back of him. Ugh. Moronic, dude. Just let him go and have a run. You what know, are you Sean doing? Sean Ralph obviously got a lot of talent, but we've seen some mistakes from him. He's young, man. Well, the thing that frustrates me there is we had three points on offer, man, an easy three, and we just gave it away. Yeah. And what I tell you is my key to the game. Yeah, man. keep it going, dude. I said the same when thing. I'm taking that, the three points there. Because the scoreboard puts pressure on them. It puts mental pressure on them. But now 100%. we just they, they completely relieve the pressure. It's their ball right over halfway. Free Jacks are sitting here like, what the f is just going on? Like mm -hmm. when we could have been 31 18 clear. Yeah. A, a clear a clear mistake, you know. Yeah. Uh, we're we're couch coaches over here. You know, we we thought <laughs> we should take the three. I think and, we're yeah, uh, we're, we're getting we were pretty right. we're getting pretty pissy, I think. Nice. Piers von Dattles and almost got almost sniped that yeah, one. He did. But unfortunately, Coach Burho we competed, in the chat so saying, saying up two scores, I think you roll the dice. Negative, Coach Burho. You pour on the points and the pressure. Woo! Intercepted. That's coming back. But though, again, a, yeah, yeah of course, and sell me. Yeah. Of course, and sell me. It's like, well, it, it couldn't have possibly. Dude, that, that is like the third breakaway try that has just been reloaded. It's interesting to think about. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, so Vanderbank has slid to inside. Ben Lesage. Our now numbers just cannot stay on these jerseys, man. I don't know what's happening. I uh, gotta talk to your boys over there at Incafi, man. Like, well, I don't <laughs> Do they print the jerseys? Fault. I don't think so, man. That's an equipment so. manager deal right there. Yeah. Nothing to do with that. Well, then we got to get Incafi involved. Oh, see, I like what you did there. Incafi.com. Looks like the bomb squad's ready order. to ready to come on here. Yep, forty five minutes in. Interesting. All right. Yep. Man, so Ranger Hor can take us through your thoughts on that. Like, we just could have been thirty one thirteen, uh, thirty one eighteen up, but instead we're getting marched down the field. This is what I'm talking about. All the pressure is back on us. When we could, like, what are we doing? You know. Yeah, especially with the bonus point already secured, I probably would have taken. Okay, the we'll point. take that. There's Q. Yeah. Here comes the bomb squad. Yeah. So Andrew Quatron finds finds himself right into the match, uh, way outside. Ben Lesage. Out to Mitch Wilson, cutting back inside. Mitch Wilson offloads to Reese Red McDonald. Rocket, yep, dude, this is like they're hacking at their heads, dude. When are you gonna call it, Patras? What what are you calling this time? Against the Free Jacks, nope. of course. Oh, of course. Nope. No, it's us against Houston. No advantage gained. Yep. So we're yep. seeing Dewitt is in for Ralph. Yeah, the whole front row has changed out. Yep. Geiger's in for Keith. Yeah, and then our boy Q, first Q's touch in. of the game. How about that? Legendary okay. one. Legendary one. We'll give it a we'll give it a we'll give it a little flash on camera. We ripped it down off social media, but we got the little wow. 
Wow. Wow. wow. Green Mountain Boys for Green, life. Green Mountain Boys mixed style. Has, it even has Tavita Sole on there. you love to see it. We don't care if he's in Miami, dude. He'll be back. Of course he will. Listen, man, it, that like we'll talk about that later. That's that's got it. That's such a legendary win for that guy. It is. You're absolutely right. Dadleton, great take. Yep. Great take off the top. Patras. Free Jack oh, spinning yeah, it baby. wide. Balacana. Oh, yeah, one baby. on one on the outside. Takes Bye. it. Go. Wow. Sure. Uh, just a little bit. Yes, our boy, Red Let's Rocket. Go. Yes, sir. Whoa. Let's go. Welcome Let's to go. the Free Jacks. Houston, you've got a problem, baby. Houston you can't has stop a us. massive. Yeah, I would say at this point, I would say my opinion has shifted from we are fortunate yeah. to we are either on we are some magical. type of yeah, we're we're either on some type of sauce tonight yeah. where like the coffee yeah. is just hitting. Or, or just we we're exposing Houston defensively. It's just we're, we're better than them. We're better than them. Now, their forwards are better than ours. All you have to do is look at the scrum and the set piece for the most part. But our backs are running circles around them. I want to see a yellow card for that shoulder no charge doubt. outside, no dude. I want to see that. What the yeah. fuck's up with that, dude? Off God, the just ball. Bops, yeah, yep. bops him off the off ball the ball. shoulder. Yep. That should be that's a, a red. yellow. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's an easy yellow. yellow. Now, this is going to be a difficult kick in the corner here. But we've got uh, such a good lead. Man, you love to see our boys running with ball in hand, don't you? Good Lord. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful champagne rugby. It is the finest of champagne. It is the crispiest. Patras. I don't. I can't really see where the wind's at. I don't, can't see any flags. Mm. All right. Seems to be blowing across the field if you look at the medic jersey. Oh, yeah. So they're going to have the same problem. Yeah, exactly. See, so he tried to hook it yes. left of the post, but then the wind even pushes it. I don't even think he had the distance for that. Yeah, this stadium is a wind tunnel. With these conversions um, going forward, but uh, go ahead, Ranger Horkin. Yep. I was just saying, this stadium's a wind tunnel. We played there. Da- we played down there last year, and it's just brutal for kicking. Yeah, you know what? I didn't realize. So Phil can't hear you. Correct. Because I have correct, but it's not on speaker. So when you're talking, Phil, if Phil's talking, he can't hear you. Listen, <laughs> here at the Granite Bunker. We don't have the best. We have a great. <laughs> I have a great setup. I think it, it is. Good. It is pretty yeah, yeah, unreal. Yeah. But like, not a not an audio visual guy. You know, I played sports in high school. I wasn't an <laughs> <even> a <laughs> club. Maybe I should have been. Computer club. Computer wow, club. swinging it wide. Balakana giving the little goosey goes on the outside. Ooh. Almost gets a friendly bounce back to the Free Jacks. But what do we got over here? And Selmy's pointing at the ref. The AR. Yeah. Well, I call him the ref and sell me ain't the oh ref. My God, <laughs> Line out to Houston. It was out of bounds on the free jacks. So that's not great. Not great. See the one thing. So now what I would like to see, listen, bonus points secured. Obviously we already had the bonus point, yep. but now what I would love to see from the free jacks is now anytime we kind of get pressure and we can take, well, with the wind, the way it is, maybe that's what, another reason why they're not taking points. So unless it's like a chippy chip shot, like mm. unless Bozo could make it, <laughs> don't take it. All right, Houston. we got that, baby. That's our ball. Yeah. So expect a clearance kick from the Free Jacks. Caleb Geiger is an absolute unit, He's dude. So I would not guys. want to get hit by that man. Absolutely not. No. Unreal story. Probably the best story. Best origin rugby story. Nice cut back by McDonald. Unreal. Oh, blue. Pin your ears back. He's free. MVP. MVP. He's, He's dummying. MVP. He's dummying. Nordley Calametti. Yes. To Lesage. Yes. Ben Lesage taking down short of the line. Free champagne Jacks. Rugby, champagne rugby. Champagne rugby. Oh, oh, man. Wayne Vander Bizank. Incredible. Wow. Incredible oh, stuff for the Free Jacks. Just, is it a, that is the Free Jacks. I, I could have sworn I saw a knock on there, right? No. Something happened. I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll take it. This is an incredible turn of events. Just, out wow. the back, Jacobson. Scoring for fun. Look at this from McDonald. Red Rocket is on another level. Yeah. Man. He's so, on another level. Dude, man. well, he so he made the right read. Yes. The Houston defender's hips were turned, and so he's like, I'm going to have a go. Nordley Kelametti, that would probably be the only question we'll pass, but is I don't a, think is so. a forward pass. This one, nice. What, uh, no, it might have been knocked, uh, batted batted. down from Houston. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's on Houston either way, okay, but then so you play advantage. That's yeah. what I saw. Okay. I think you play advantage to Vanderbank. I think they might still be checking it. Bozo, we're really good at rugby, man. 
Like we're so good. I don't want to celebrate till the game's over. I understand because we I, have. We also have a very like. So again, so now that we're winning the game and we're doing really well, they did allow the try. Did Potros, that goes over and Potros just that. sinks it? Wow. So what is that? Four zero. Four zero. He is up unreal. By the, up by the double deuce. R.I.P. Uh, Swayze. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they're saying 38 to 18. Uh, they haven't added the conversion. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. So 52 minutes in, the New England Free Jacks are up by 20 points. Incredible. On the best team in the West. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've exposed them. They they haven't done well defensively. Did that ball go out of bounds? Or did we just get tackled out of bounds? Yeah, we got tackled out of bounds. That's that's not smart. That's not smart. Nordley Kelametti doesn't look like he likes it. Might have been some bullshit around that. Well, listen, now up by 22 points, I'd say we're in a comfortable place, but there's still a lot of rugby left to be played. A lot played. of time yeah, left. A lot of, lot of time. A lot of time left. Let's well, we're go. under a half hour to go, so 28 minutes. Coming up on the on the third uh on the on the second water break here. And we haven't seen a scrum in the second half, which is good. Houston with some ooh. Oof. Mitch Wilson got sat down. He's not a big man, Mitch Wilson. No, he's not. And every man on this Houston side seems to be enormous. They're, yeah. In pure, in, in pure South African fashion. You can't be <laughs> a player for Houston unless you're absolutely. Uh, no knock on right there. The ball is rolling forward. And Sully doesn't seem to give a shit. Because <laughs> the men in red don't have the ball. So. Oh, almost want to turn over there. The Free Jacks did. We let it go. Sometimes then somebody does. Oh, they're reversing direction. Stop just short of the line. Held up again. It's been all muckled up by the Free Jacks, making them work very hard, Houston, for this try. Ball, yeah. Oh, he just dropped, dropped it. Dropped it on. Yes. Let's go. Yes. All right. First scrum. First scrum. Of the... Something was going on with Ben Lesage talking to chirping at it and sell me. I think he was trying to tell him he didn't hear the whistle. Right. Which I mean, hey, dude, it is what it is. It happens. It so happens. it's knocked on by Houston. Right. So it'll be a scrum to the free scrum jacks. Scrum to the free jacks. So we got up. we got some beef in there. First scrum of the second half. Yeah, I'm it looks very like, curious to see what's going to happen here. Right? Yeah. Well, Houston switched out as well, sure. and very interesting to note. Josh Larson, Connor Keys, still the lock pairing. I think mm -hmm. the scrum pressure, I think they might be hesitant to put in Jackson Thebes. What, right. are, what are your yeah. thoughts on that, Ranger Hork? And you think we'll see him tonight or no? Yeah, I think last time he was on the bench, he also either didn't get in or didn't get into the last two minutes. So it seems like when Jackson's on the bench, they sort of are hesitant. Yeah, I mean, he has been a couple. Well, how long was he out of the league? Two years? Dude, he, he's a unit. I, I actually refereed a game of his when he was in college. He's an absolute unit. Uh, nothing taken away from the kid, but I think that the league has. I mean, look at these guys out here, dude. Like, I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've stood with a lot of these players, and I'm not a small person either. And it, it, it is scary how small I feel sometimes. I'm like, Jesus, this dude's yeah. huge. Driving early again from Houston seems to be a little bit better scrum, even though it went down. Free Jacks running from their. Oh, all right. Another scrum. That's okay. So lost forward, I'm going to say first. It's not a line out, AR. He lost it forward. Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on. So James, are you in London right now? I I am back for the month of April in in the greater New England area. Oh, buddy, you should have hit us up and come over to the bunker, kid. Oh, he's in Mass? Yeah, he's in the, he said he's in the greater New England area. Love love that. I was I was down in Fairfield today for the Liberty Conference Sevens Tournament. Nice. We got USA Rugby League and Union fan. I'm oh, a yeah. I'm a Riffkla season seat holder. We play <laughs> Seattle Dickhead. tomorrow. It's raining. We'll be sloppy. Yeah, don't really care about the dickheads. Sorry, man. Thanks for joining the chat. Don't care about Seattle. Don't care about the dickheads. Much better scrum from the Free Jacks. Good defense right up the guts, but ooh, they're driving, but we're holding them. Yeah. Ben Lesage holding them. Okay, but Anselmi just letting it go because it's going forward. Just hold them up. Just don't fall over. That's just it. don't fall That's over. It. Non usable. Unusable. That should Unusable be our ball. ball. That's yep. our ball. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. Turnover. You love to see it, baby. Yeah, but Anselmi, look at him shaking his head. 
Keys is numbers completely off. Yeah. What much better scrum from the free jack. So it must have been our under slightly undersized front row. Look at this dominant tackle. Yes. Yes. So Vanderbank goes for the goes, goes, low. goes the low road. Yep. And then Ben goes high. Yep. Yeah, and then it eventually just becomes unusable. So it'd be the yeah. free jacks ball. We need to get out of dodge here. Yeah, we need to uh, kick it out. But see, now with the better scrum platform, I'm not so concerned. Sure. If this was the first half, I would have been shitting my pants. Right. Scrum goes straight down again. Oh. Is he pinging us? Yes, he is. Come on oh. and sell me. You got to be effing shitting me, bro. For what? Half of these refs, I swear to God, oh, it's because our it's because our loose head went straight down. Yeah. And they're calling it again. Good. You know what? Good. And now let's run you over. Stay on your feet, boys, and run them over. Come on, boys. Got some uh got some uh I'm I haven't been paying much attention to the chat. Yeah, let's hear it. What we got. So we got USA Rugby League and Union fan again. Will you boys come out to San Diego if you're in the final? I'll definitely be there. You won't see this guy. I'll be in the bunker. Yes, Everybody else might. Everybody Those, else might. Oh, yeah. Not definitely not. I don't even Diego. go to home games. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not <laughs> I'll, this season, I'll find my way there for sure. Uh, I definitely can't make it out to San Diego, man. I got too much, I got too much stuff to do uh in my regular life. Uh so I unfortunately I can't. Away games aren't a thing for me. Nice move by Houston. Held up short. That should be short. That's not a try. No way. No way that's a try. Tell me likes it. I don't think he likes it. I don't think he likes it. The Houston They're, fans think they've scored a try. They've put it up on the scoreboard. Did they count it? They might have just given it. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. These camera angles are wonky, man. Yeah. I think they got it. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah he's over the line yeah he got it over um, uh, okay all right we got about 20 minutes left we're getting close to the hydration break what do we have to do now this is to bozo and ranger horkin ranger james if he's still out there he is what do the free, new england free jacks do have to do to close out this game i'll let you take that one horkin go for it yeah i think at this point it's just about slowing the game down the slower we can play this game and draw out some phases make this it, it's still what uh, it's still almost a three score game at this point if we can get maybe points one more time get some points on the board if the wind dies down and just keep them keep the ball away from houston that's how we keep it secured yeah houston uh, as you say that delight delighted to see it they pushed another kick a tough day at the t for Kotza. so the score is 40 to 23 free jacks yeah i would say i agree with ranger james there completely i think that we need to just we just need to make them work for everything uh that we need to play a little bit tighter uh we can't be just yeah, we're, we're we are giving away positions to houston that are putting them in a good position yeah. and and we're obviously we're fighting and sell me too i think the guy is a clown you know what i mean like our own scrum it goes down he doesn't even attempt to reset it he just is like yeah that's a penalty like this is what Diamond, I already said it earlier, but this is what Diamond Dave and I were talking about. And Ranger James, interested to hear your opinion on this. Like some refs will play it to where like they will never give a scrum penalty. Like you literally have to like be like the most heinous scrum penalty ever for them to finally give it. And then other refs like Anselmi just he I don't think that there's been but three scrums where he hasn't blown the whistle. Yeah. It's like and awarded a penalty, whether short arm or or full penalty. It's been it's it's bonkers dude yep. like you have two new front rows and a guy goes down and you just ping him and that's why i say like i think i think and sell me like it's weird dude i haven't i see i haven't watched his whole body of work but i feel like he picks on teams and it's like dude it's a whole different front row and you're just you know yeah abs, very quick to the whistle me. yeah for sure for sure but anyway so 40 to 23 both teams sitting on a bonus point. So Houston will not leave empty handed. I think for Houston, obviously you're trying to win the game 20 minutes left, plenty of time to do so for the free Jacks. Like uh, we were saying, I think we just need to get one more score, but with the wind, the way it is, is that Marcus Luttrell? Are you listening to the match Ranger James? Is that Marcus Luttrell? It looks like him. 
No, I, I'm I don't have the audio on either. I think that's Marcus Luttrell. It looks like him, man. If you don't know who he is, uh famous former Navy SEAL. Oh wow. In uh June, I believe, of 2005, Operation Red Wing, every other member of his team was killed. Ooh. Uh he was shot shot to shit is probably a polite way of putting it. And somehow some way uh crawled his way and then afghan villagers found them and they have this like cultural thing where like they will like fight to the death to help someone in need it's i forget exactly kind of what it is but anyway they helped him and then other socom forces yep nice ping good yep nice and selling anyway holding younger in the game let's go Vampires holy the, oh is he bringing the chops back did i get a spy at those chops they're coming yeah, back let's set go. a baker in for um for pierce yeah what an outstanding player too so i think we're about to get i think i think the subs again scott matthew you genius uh, i don't i probably don't even think that he expected us to be up by 10 at half no but, but yeah now we've got a bunch of uh veteran grizzled veterans on the field uh anyway to finish that latrell story yeah so the, the they rescued him from there and then uh i think he went on to retire after that uh, but yeah pretty famous pretty famous guy pretty famous operation a lot of people died in that one though not not good for us but he lived wrote the book lone survivor off go. the top younger out the back set a There's baker, set a baker. immediately making yeah. himself felt not held great gets a couple extra meters younger on the front foot patros to a crashing ben lesage mcdonald's there to clean it up younger again beautiful i think that's geiger no can't tell who that was patros flat ball woof houston was ready for that one yep body shots Yep, going back the other way. Larson, blind boy, pass. Nice. Whoa, through the wow. gap. Here we go. Out wow. wide. Ben Lesage cutting back Board inside. Boardroom Benny. Board there. Benny. There we go. Clear it up. Free Jacks are. That's it. Q. Yeah. Let's go. Huzzah. Touchdown, Lakers. Huzzah. 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 So, what a way to hit back, right? Houston thinks they're 100%. in this game. And wow. Q. This is a massive. What class, a man. beauty. Still plenty of time left, but I mean, how do you not feel super yeah. good about so Larry? Look at the no look from Larry. Unreal. So, dude, all right. So, what makes this? If uh, they're not, if they show it again, we'll see it. You'll see a deft little pump from Patros that holds the defense, yep. and then he pulls that other pass. Incredible. He, watch it. Watch it. Here it is. Oh no, sorry. That, that's no, already no, after no, it. They no. they didn't show it, but it was a slow pump to Mitch Jacobson that got him yep. over incredible Patras is playing 3d chess <laughs> and Dude, houston's playing checkers right? i gotta say uh jason Patras has to be the man of the match so far 100 oh hold on uh -oh. and selmy's gonna take the try away uh-oh the tmo now he uses the tmo, TMO. of course he does hold on i'm gonna unmute see what's happening he will look and see on his big TV. Forward pass. Oh, kill yeah, him, man, dude. Oh, it's, so it's ah uh, yes. Oh, so it was that pump that I was talking about. But so, anyways, that was a nice little pump pass, though. It was. Uh, but yeah, dude. All right. Well, that was a good TMO usage. Ah, uh, that sucks. Andrew Quatrans try off the board. Bummer. All right, so it remains uh, 40 to 23. Unfortunately, Free Jack's magic undone. Uh, and our boy, the guy that I predicted to be the leading try scorer for the team, not looking good right now. <laughs> did anybody pick, uh, pick Red Rocket? I don't think they did. I don't think we did, no. No. But you know what? The scrum has looked better for us. Yes. It, the scrum has definitely looked a lot better. So. Again, Matthew. The yeah. genius of Scott. The Matthews. genius. Well, and you know what though? But that did take a lot of time off the clock. 62 sure minutes did. gone. We got 18, yep. 18 minutes left. We're up by 17 points. It's a clock management situation at this point, to a certain extent. Yep. We're pushing Absolutely. back. But you see, he won't give a penalty there. And he again, dude, what is wrong with you? They so they AJ Alatim who coming short side playing with house money. Is that forward? Kicked on. Nope. Patros takes it. And we're going to go back. Yep. Yeah. But see, okay, so this is the stuff that needs to stop. It needs to stop. This is like we are hemorrhaging. Yes. So we just go from try, taking away forward pass, scrum, 
awarded a penalty, more territory, like that ha- that bleeding has to stop. Yep. We cannot play the last 17 minutes of this game like this, or they will come back. Because yes. you can put, you can bang on those points on the board real quick. It, it, we've literally shown it this game. Good Lord, what a kick. Oh, my God. At the five-meter line. Here. Right, and so now a try one way is about to get erased, and it's about to be a right. try the other way because we're giving away stupid shit penalties. We can't do that, man. Yeah, that so oh, nice we can't do that. From, wow. Oh. Tough. Ugly stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'll take an ugly win, but uh, I we haven't won the game yet, so that's no, why I'm nervous, exactly. man. And we, we usually fall apart in the end of games. It has happened this year for sure, yeah. Houston slowly inching their way forward. Yep. yep. Hooker still has it at the back. He's held up though. He's, He's held up though. Held up. Yep. But it's very close to the line. Very. Oh, uh, what? How can you award? Who got the try? Oh. How can you go from held up to award the try? I don't understand. If you're held up, that counts as the movement. You don't get another attempt to dot it down. And so we go into the assistant referee here. No. He th- no I no. think he, the nine grabbed it from the ruck and just tapped it straight down is what Insomi saw. Oh, uh, okay. So Ranger Hork is saying that the nine grabbed it from the back of the ruck and just tapped it down. Ah. But I think they're going to look at this one again. I wish they would show us what they what they what they show the TMO. This one's going to be tough, but again, this, this situation is exactly what I'm talking about though. Like, listen, man, scrub midfield after a try that was disallowed due to a four, a clear forward pass. Like that's fine. But then we just literally like, how do we get into critical red zone? Like, holy right. shit, they're scoring. Yep. Like we can't, can't do that. Right. All right. So let's see it again. I'm looking at the nine. Oh Yeah. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, man. I don't know. I mean, they're going to get another bite at the apple either oh, of way. Of course, yeah. So probably just delays the inevitable. And time's off right now, so that's not Yeah, not good but if we us. make them have to work for another again for another try, sure. though that'll take more time. But again, a seven-pointer man puts them right at 30 points, and they're down 10. Yep. So it's like... Still a two-score game, but it's a score and a penalty to tie. It's not good for us, brother. Not good. Not at all. No okay. try. All right. Okay. But now obstruction, uh, obstruction right? Because be he okay. Nice. So obstruction so that that's helps a, us. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So he was technically behind another player. Right. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you can't, can't pick that. it from the back, and wow. yeah, you can't do that. Because because he's non non playable, Correct. excellent. Wow, and sell me. Good for him. You're surprising me. <laughs> and look at Jason Patras getting in Momsen's ears, like shut up, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said the c word. If that offends you. Oh, Any man. Uh, comments in the chat? Yeah, clear obstruction in the mall. TMO can't see anything. Love it. Yeah. Sorry, I haven't been paying much attention to the chat. We got Ranger James joining us. James Horkin. My guy, dude. So, how many times do you do the pond trot, man? You've been coming back and forth across the pond quite a few times a season. Uh, I just came back at Christmas and then again for April. All righty, all righty, all right. So, we got Q and the boys getting lined up for another line out. Yeah, so we missed the line out. Yep, but Free Jacks have possession. Boardroom Benny. Mm-hmm. Houston's actually been competing hard at the lineup. Yep. Patras, get, Patras just took a nice shot. Yes. He's back on his feet. Red Rockets loose. Whoop. Go. Somebody stop this man. <laughs> they can't. Free Jacks are really moving at will you love to see uh, it, on this man. Houston defense. Yeah, chew it uh, up. Yeah. Chew up the clock. Potty oh. to Larry. Beaver's there. Love to see our guy Fozzie Bear. Fozzie Beaver, yep. Mitch Wilson into the line. Gets jacked up. (laughs) Diving over in from the side. Like, what is that? Oh, my God. Hilarious. Q's got his hands out. Nice little pop from Q. 
Q was, was some fancy. Passing. It seems that Houston's queuing onto that quick pop out the back to Patras, yes. though. They oh okay. The bus uh, lost forward. Yeah. Uh, uh, no pickup from tough. Jacobson misses the pickup. Look at look at the vampire just pushing around a six. Yeah, no well, they're getting deal. chippy. They're getting chippy out there. Yeah. Well, we're very fortunate to still be 17 points up. And when we get into the final 10 minutes of the game, I'll yeah. feel a little better. Same. 14 minutes to go. It's going to be squeaky bum time here soon. Yeah. The vampire Honestly, loves brother, to push buttons. What's that? The vampire loves to push some buttons. Yeah, he seems like a... Yeah, he seems like a chippy one. Holden's a very, very, very nice guy, though. Met Holden a couple oh, yeah. of times. Oh yeah, uh, coach. Uh, we did uh, one. Ju- I, they, the team invited me. Well, I didn't. They didn't really invite me. I asked if I could come down and help coach with the junior <laughs> jacks. I invite myself. And Holden and, and the Eagle were there, and it was cool getting stuck in with them and and doing some coaching of the Utes. So see, you, you panged us one time, and now you just shake your head because it's Houston's ball. Oh, Oof. huge defensive lapse. Oof. Gonna be a try here to Houston in the corner. Yep. Oh man. Okay. Jason's okay. Oh, Jason, you all right? Yeah. He's grabbing his uh ankle area. Yeah, that's Uh-oh. not good. That's not good. That's not good. Huge defensive laps in the midfield. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Well, we're about to see it again. So they release. just shred through the defense here. Oh yeah. No obstruction. Somebody got bumped. Thirteen, right? The obstruction there on thirteen. Maybe. Nah, block. So, uh, so there, there's a lot of talk about blocker plays, yeah, and then whether they're obstruction or not. Watch so. Jason here. Yeah, he comes up on the. He immediately grabs his uh his ankle, his right ankle. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. So luckily, this will probably be another miss. Jackson's coming in for Connor Keys. Okay. Nice. 12 minutes uh, left to go. Take uh, your time, Daniel Kata. Morgan Pudarangi coming in for Iron Man Mitch Wilson. Mitch Wilson has had a tough game. They've yeah, been physically has. beating yeah. him down. Yeah. Not a not a great game to be a small man. Not a, yeah, not a good matchup for small guys. And uh, he, he pushes it, it again. All so right. that's Up good for us. 12. Yeah. Well, that's good, right? I mean, dude, they've yeah. left literally every single try. They sure have. On the point. I mean, if they have, they're at five tries now, I think. Sounds right. Um, so that's 10 more points that they've left. It would have been 40 Crazy. to 38. Crazy. Yeah. Kicking is killing them. That's tough. It is. I think uh, he rolled Jason, over the flag. Yeah, he, he's definitely favoring that right ankle, guys. Yeah, might be a little bit of a of a zinger. You know, ah, man, I really just wish that cute. Ah, that sucks. That try would have been a dagger. So I think we just yeah. I think we need to score next here. Uh, we can't Definitely. let them, we can't not, we absolutely cannot let them get another try and get within five. hundred percent. They get within five with 10 minutes and then it's very dangerous. Agreed. Dominant tackle by the free Jacks. Three guys on one there. Yep. Jackson immediately in the action here at 19. Yeah. Remember if you remember back in the days when that, when the team first uh, kicked off, they would do the workhorse of the week and he seemed to be winning it every week. So mm-hmm. a dude with a ridiculous work rate come in wow. and with 10 minutes to go is, is, is great. Workhorse of the week. Quickly taken. Oh, uh, but uh, Anselmi doesn't give a shit, it. Yeah, which is horse shit because literally everybody at Houston was like, <laughs> McDonald's like, I'm going to try it. You know, I'm going to try it. Yeah. So 40 to 28, the score free jacks with the line out. Oh, we it's, bungle it's it. A not, not knock great. forward from Houston has to be a knock forward. Gathered by Younger. Clear from Scrum Half. Mitch Jacobson. Very fortunate. LFG. That. Very fortunate. Young Holdy. Oh no. What is the penalty? Oh, releasing. How? Johan Momsen. Oh my God, dude! Jackled so, that ball. So again, this is the this is the shit that I'm talking about because yeah, because now you're about to see it again. It's been the tail of the game. Bing, bang, boom, and all of a sudden they're going to be in scoring position yeah, again. Here we go. Here we go. It's not out. Wow! Big yeah. time for Red Rocket Jacks. on the counterattack, Whoop, finding come space. Come on, even with them. There we go. Beautiful. Jackson Thieves yeah. gear clear from scrum half. Yeah. Good luck, Jacklin. That. Andrew Quatran, strong carry. Yep. Go forward. Younger to Patra. So fortunate. That out that the back. Out flat pass. The bus. He's got Ben. Boardroom Benny. Dancing. Jinking. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Go. Free Jacks are rolling. 
Oh, bad pass. That's all right. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Patras show and go up the guts and into him. Patras' ankle doesn't seem to be bothering him now. <laughs> now nah, the adrenaline surges yeah, the through. Yeah, adrenaline, exactly. Yeah. I think it was Jacobson that just took it in. Going short. No offsides there. Seemed very offsides. Yeah. Balakana cleaning it up. A bit messy from the Free Jacks. Going short side again. Seem to have something set there. Clearly diving. What in the F? Ooh, Geiger. God. Oh, boy. Patros clicking. Sees a little bit of. Sees some space. Time okay. to slow it down. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take yeah, that all day well, long. So think about it like this. A line out in general. So it hits 71. It was 71 minutes with like 32 seconds. Yeah. So it's going to roll another 20 seconds off the clock. Sure. At least. We got him backed up. Right. right. So, it, it, like I said, remember, he kicked out at 7131 ish, and we're now at 7151. Subs are rolling on. Yep. Right. So, the, the tick tock goes the clock. We're doing good. Houston's deep in their own territory. So, they're yep. probably going to be looking to clear here. Playing some territory. Game. And they're under pressure, right? If they bungle it and we get it, that's bad for them. All right. So, we got a forward phase. Free Jacks are conceding on defense, fanning out. Back three's waiting. Yep, here it goes. And here comes the clearance kick from Alatimu. This one will find touch. No? Yes. Yes. So we're about the 50-meter line, our take. Yep. Eight minutes left. Just needs to yep. hold on. Yes, yeah, seven and a half, actually. Seven and a half for that quick math. Yeah. AJ Alatimu, man, has been pretty good with the boot. Other than missing touch, which was pretty critical for him that last time, other than missing touch there, he's been yep. pretty good with the boot all yeah, day. Yeah, he has. He's got a cannon. Oh, disrupted Oof. at the line out again. Oh. It's going to be lost forward. AJ Alatimu hammers it downfield, uh, and that's going to be a 50 22. Yes, it is. Oh, God. Man, so, uh, dude. So, disaster. Disaster left. striking with the Free Jacks yeah. again. This we They always seem to do this, dude. I don't know what it takes, but please, somebody on the staff, like every time, like the last 10 minutes of a game. Like we need to execute, man. We just we're, fall apart. We're trying to hold on. Yeah, we go to shambles. It yeah. becomes desperation yeah, stuff. Totally. How did we like literally? What did I just tell you? I said it's going to be bing, bang, boom, yep. scoring position, Houston. It's yep. oh, it's ugly, it dude. And there it is. The only advantage is that three minutes have gone off the clock, but they've gone completely under pressure on their own line out. That's right. And to, they march down the field. Yep. yep. Quickly. Yeah. And here they go, rumbling forward. Yep. Stopped once. I would say there it is. There it is. It's going sideways, so that's going to be stopped twice. They're going to be forced to use. Set of Baker waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, dude. They're rumbling. Jesus Christ. That's it. <laughs> and so we can't see anything. Oh, of course he's going to give the try. Oh, oh. my God. And on, on comes Houston. We need a try. Boys, you need to stop shooting yourselves in the foot. I swear to effing God, dude. Six re minutes remaining. And Kotz is going to probably nail the conversion to take it to a five-point game. That's right. And again, so not that this matters because they're a Western Conference team, but we've led a team where we were up double deuce. We, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, as Dan from Merrimack would say, <laughs> we were up by 22 points, and now we are up a paltry seven points with likely to be five points to come 17 unanswered mfing points unacceptable dude it's, like yeah it's, not, it's, it's not brutal acceptable. man it's oh it's oh it's crazy he misses this kick oh nope, he got flags it. Right. are up damn it is right. now Ugh. it is now like panic time dude yeah. panic it is squeaky, squeaky bum time, time. Yeah. we're in trouble uh the momentum is clearly in their favor we've got to hold on here man we've got to hold on there's gonna be and again, less than five minutes remaining from the kickoff here. Yep. But might I remind you, they were literally like 20 meters from their line. That's right. And then three minutes later, our warp speeding in for a try. Yes. Like all due to free jack error. We yep. can't let it happen, boys. Oh, it's so frustrating. I can't imagine being a player. Like, I'd be so pissed. Houston, nice regathered. Here. Good contest from yeah, Benny yeah. Boardroom. He can do it all, folks. <clears throat> So Houston looking to clear their lines. Yep. And so now I don't even know. Oh, oh, man, I don't even know. If you get any type of penalty, I feel like you got to go for sticks. Got a boy, Daniel. Yeah, he's great under he the high ball, right? by the way. He's dangerous. Super acceleration, too. <laughs> Potty just Potty. taking it up. <laughs> well, he was slowing it down, waiting for support, yeah, holding course, younger. Yeah. 
It just looks a little awkward. They're a little off sides, dude. I want to say. Free Jack's holding on here. Yeah. Just go 75, 76 minutes gone. Sorry. Yeah. Boardroom Benny has been great Fantastic. today. Yep, since he came on. He's been great today. Little show and go from the Beaver. Love to see it. Fuzzy Bear. Reese McDonald clearing from scrum, uh, sorry, from fly half position. No, dude, get them out of there, buddy. Laying all over the ball. Where's our penalty, dude? Daniel Morgan put a rangy. Yep. Free Jacks really throwing themselves into the breakdown. That's Wayne Vanderbank. Wayne Vanderbank. Let's go. Nice move. Oh boy. Run, run, Wayne. Go. Yeah. Run. Try oh, free jacks. Yeah. That's got to be on. the game. Yeah. Absolute dagger. Huzzah. 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 There can't be anything wrong with that one, baby. Suck eggs. Let's Wayne go. There we go. Let's Bank. fucking go. You can't tackle the man. All started right here. Daniel Morgan, Puerto Rican, gets go forward, holding younger. Pam, quick little Wayne yeah, Vanderbeck. Stiff arm. Do that stiff arm. Him. Step. Oh, he left Alatimu for dead. Caught to get the f out of here. Try time. Yes. Wayne Vanderbank, oh, take dude. a bow. Dude, he did two stiff arms in a row. Unreal. Incredible. Look at him. And he's had a double. He's, Trip, hat he's had a fantastic game. Yeah, I think a, it's two, right? Uh, two or three. Eat shit, negative bozo. <laughs> 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 All right. Clean breaks. That's fair. Or, uh, That's fair. I'll take that one. one. Huzzah. I mean, it was squeaky bum time. I understand that. The concern is real, though, right? The concern is true. Yeah, I would say oh, eat yeah. shit concerned, Bozo. Right. Negative? Right, right, right. No. no. I told you. I literally, I'm Bozo Domus. I predicted the bang-bang score from you Houston. Did. So you did. get the f out of here, Facebook user. I <laughs> will say. Why don't you log on real and tell me what your real name is? <laughs> is that you, Matt Courtright, in the chat? Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> And it's good. It's good. Bang on. That's got to put it out of reach. And now, unfortunately for Houston, they don't get the double bonus point. Yep. Exactly. Uh, they don't get the bonus point loss. Man, that's been the tale of the tape, though, right? Like the Free Jacks just have had back dominance in this game. And the back brilliance of the Free Jacks has really rang true. Dude, it's incredible that we've almost put up a, a half century Crazy. on the on the best team in the West. Boy, I was I was way off. Wow. All right. Swinging it wide. We got, oh, my Daniel goose step. killing people out there. <laughs> oh, my goose step. The rugby guy would be proud of that one. Yep. Somebody sent him cue bungling forward. This is great. Let's get another one, boys. Let's get another one. Sure. Why not? Champagne rugby. Caleb piece. Geiger. Look at this man. Nobody, nobody wants him. Nobody <laughs> wants him. Goodbye. And good night, Houston. Yo, Wayne go. Vanderbank having another run. Go, Wayne, go. Why not? Uh, Al Alatimu. No, that no, was a clean. No, no. It, was a clean it was a clean take. It no. was a clean take from him. I actually saw that one. So he gr he gathered it and then fell over. Gotcha. So it wasn't diving. He yeah. already had uh, had possession. <laughs> Lost oh, there, forward. That'll help. <laughs> yep. He's Fozzie that Bear backwards. Okay. No, no, it's not. Wow, really? Okay. Look at this. Look at our boys. Seta in there. He might have he might have had played advantage and then might have uh he might have given like advantage played because uh Foster I think chipped it forward with okay. his foot. So look at this. Not exactly sure, but look at this. Don't let him score free jacks. Do no, not let him bang not. bang yeah. niner gang down the field here. Hold it to 47 to 35. What a game. Well, yeah, those so yeah, they're gonna kick. And that's gonna be no. Just slow it down. You know, no, yeah, we want to we want to take the line out, secure it, and then just run it out of bounds. Yeah, exactly. But knowing us, what will likely happen is we'll try to run it, and then they'll intercept it and score a stupid try. <laughs> I hope not, dude. If yeah. we get the ball, just kick it out of bounds. Yes, just kick it out. We we've made our statement. Yeah. Wow, what a statement win this has been. Unreal. Replay the tape, Beaver Paw. You know, huge win. Eat shit, negative bozo. Probably the comment of the century. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Love that. That's it. That's I it. am I am a fucking piece of shit. So you can definitely talk shit to me all day. I do not take it personally. I love you, whoever said that. That's actually a class comment. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> just shaking my head. Q waiting. Um, Q Q just patiently waiting. All right. We decide to play on. Continuing to play, which I'm a little baffled by. Nope. I I, I think Holden just asked if time was up. Yeah. Smart move by a crafty veteran. <clears throat> but we continue to play. I'm guessing. And tell me his watch is a little slow. Uh, Maybe not. Here we go. Now here it is. This is it. 
and All that'll right. be it. The Houston Sabercats suffer their first defeat at the hands of our New England The Freebacks. best of the West gets bested by the beast of the East. The third place team in the West actually is us, right? Because that's, that's what people were calling us. Huzzah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so the final from Houston, 47, New England Free Jacks, 35, Houston. What would you call them? The Pussycats? Uh, Thundercats, Pustin, yeah, yeah, whatever you want to call them. All right, let's go, uh, Ranger James. What's your thoughts, overall thoughts on the match? Yeah, it was a difficult game. They put a lot of pressure on the set piece, but the magic and skills of Jason Patra's Wayne Vanderbank making something out of nothing at times uh, pushed us through. And then finally, the subs, I think Scott Matthew and the subs as they came on made a really big impact both at the scrum and the back line. So overall, it was a good game. We got out with a great result and can hang our heads high for the rest of this couple next games. Wow. Well said, Ranger James. It's unfortunate Phil couldn't hear that that masterpiece. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, well said. And uh, thanks for jumping on after the half. Thanks for sticking with us. We appreciate, appreciate you, the James. thoughts. I'm going to boot you out of here, though. Any, any right. final? Can you give us a final huzzah? Huzzah! All right, Ranger James. Has thanks, left Ranger chat. James. All right. Uh, yeah, so Phil, what are your final thoughts on the match, brother? I, I'm kind of, I, I'm a little baffled to be honest. Like with the with the the score line, I will say this: the Free Jacks were really really good at rugby, and it feels good to be good. That first half, I, I would have never guessed that we'd be up by ten. Um, they have to get the bleeding issues corrected in the second half. The ill discipline of the first half is not acceptable, but we just continue to find ways to win. And our backs are scary good, man. Scary good. Yeah, I think I think we exposed Houston big time in this game. Uh, the thing that just kind of, yeah, you know, yeah, I am negative, Bozo. It pisses me off because this could have been like a La Rochelle Leinster if you've been paying attention. This could have been a demolition job. Right. But if not for the scrum bullshit in the first half and then just letting them into the game with stupid stuff, like, like I, I'm sorry. I just I refuse to believe a team that's 20 meters out from their own line, but then scoring a try three minutes later, basically off two. I mean, they had a great win, so that helped out team who's kicking. He has a cannon. Yep. But but the point is, is those kicks came from our mistakes, just shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, we ended up scoring a try, so it didn't matter. But like the the Sean Ralph thing, where like you're just staying hooked on, and then like I said, we turned down three to go for that. We ended up scoring a try a little later, so it's fine. But it's like that kind of stuff. Um, I'm telling you, man, like it makes it for an interesting match for sure. sure. But I just, I just want to, I want this team to, I just, this team shows that it can be ruthless right. and I just want them to, to be ruthless. We'll have to clean that up as we get towards the playoffs for sure. But this is an, an, a very encouraging win. I would say a Scott Matthew masterclass once again. Like, I mean, I can't, unreal. I can't wait till the review. I'm very interested to see who your player of the match is. Sure. I mean, Wayne Vanderbank, Jason Potros, two, two, yeah. two standout uh, players. Had a great game. Yeah. Reese McDonald also had a great game. Um, boardroom Betty came on oh, strong. Yeah. Yep. Um, who else? I mean, who else we, who need, who needs a shout out for this match? I mean, I think we've covered a lot of who I would, you know what I would say? Consider. Good, good, quiet work from Larry and sure. Connor. Sure. Yeah, Connor Keys. Yeah. yeah, he it's they they were very I mean quiet by quiet I mean like I bet you if you look at the tackle stats they were probably probably up there, up there yeah, yeah putting in some work. For just sure. the quiet stuff is like it's not like oh it's not flashy. Yeah. yeah. But, just, but you know it's the stuff that it's the dirty work that gets the job done at the end of the day. Hell yeah, but so. you know what we uh overcame I'll I'll get a uh, better on the speaker issue. I think that it has to do with when I go live. I need to pre-select my headphones before the this or whatever that way something for ne next time yeah. yeah well when my speaker's on that way if we do add someone you'll be able to hear them oh sure yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh love this from jonathan p in the chat free it. jacks have almost as many penalties as points and still win <laughs> buddy buddy <laughs> that's pal, the comment of the day right there email that one to our boy brian ray at america's <laughs> rugby news oh, Wayne vanderbank is seems, the man of the match here yeah, I mean, how could he not be, dude? Just sure. the bowling ball of a man. Unbelievable. It's, uh, it's so great to see him back on form. Yeah, I think he's having trouble looking at this guy's spray-painted hair. And <laughs> it looks like they peeled the skin back over a skeleton on this guy. Jeez. Who is this guy? <laughs> I'm telling you, he was with the Jabronis a couple years ago. He was their mic man. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, dude, I kind of miss the Jabronis. 
but yeah, if you're yeah. a Houston fan, you've got to be incredibly, incredibly frustrated because you of can't course. just you can't let that kind of BS just go in. Like that missed tackle is okay, yeah. right? But the one before was like, dude, he cut back against the grain and just ran by people. Like, what are you doing? Oh man! Oh, he did have a triple. Yeah, yeah, that. hat so, trick. I would say that he's probably in the running for my man of the match. I don't Potty's think he's up there too. I don't think you can give it to anybody else if they don't have three tries. Yeah, I it's mean, just I mean, Potty is is Potty, incredible. Potty made some work happen, especially in the first half. You know what I mean? Like he was orchestrating a lot. So, yeah, but uh, it's hard to look past Wayne Vanderbank. Yeah, I know, but let me ask you something: Who sure. has the most assists in the NBA? You don't know. But who scored the most points? Wasn't it like Wilt Chamberlain or something? And I don't even watch basketball. Wilt Chamberlain, sure. But my yeah. point is, look at the the stats kind of evened out. How about sort that, of? Huh? Yeah. yeah, fifteen Penalties penalties. Conceded conceded. 15. That's too high, man. Well, too high. that's the Federico Anselmi effect. I <laughs> I'll write that one off. Yep. Oh, I wish they didn't cut that. I wish I would have liked to have gone over that a little bit more. Yeah, it's a shame. But hey, win, dubs a dub. Dubs a dub. Dubs a dub. I, and I I want to go back and check. I'm pretty sure I called this one as a loss. So happy to have this done. Yeah, same. I think I did the same thing. And, you know, obviously my one point victory in my prediction showed my less than overconfidence, we'll say, in the Free Jacks getting the job done. But, um, wow, the, uh, the MLR fraudsters actually probably got this one right. How about that? They're looking real good. Looking real I'm good. I'm looking like a Not real in big the previous idiot. game, though, in that Dallas versus uh, whoever they played. No, no. Uh, Utah. Yep. Yeah, Utah. Yeah. Um, man, man, oh man. Got to be tough if you're Houston, though, too. You know, you, you ride undefeated into the bye week. You're on a high. They you're only on a bye week, too. That's yeah. what's so crazy. Man. Yeah. Bye week. Then you're rolling in at home. I mean, it, it, obviously, the Free Jacks are going to be a tough test for anybody, but like you're 5 and 0 in the West. You've beaten Seattle on the road. You have a bye week. You got the Free Jacks coming to town. You couldn't have asked for better conditions to play the Jacks. 100%. And, and you, and you, and you fumble it. And you fumble and you get, and you take the first L of the season. This is a big test, and obviously the Free Jacks just passed. Next week's a big test too. You got Seattle coming to town at Fort Quincy. Yeah, that's, that's two. That's that's a hellacious gauntlet right there. You got Houston away, and now you're gonna have Seattle at home. These are two two big tests for the Free Jacks. They've already passed one. We got one more to go. Yeah, I think we might be actually looking a little bit better though playing Seattle because they got Sam Windsor at ten. So That's the one right. thing that I would say about these two teams out west that while they are really good, man, like it, I wasn't impressed with AJ Alatimu tonight. I wasn't, man. And I just for wasn't. A leg, but yeah, I mean, not not great decision making at certain points. Well, you just look at the play of the two tens, right? Like Patros was integral and. In, in our attack, yep. clearly, as most tens are, but like he absolutely ripped them open, yes, like a tin can. And Alatimu just couldn't seem to couldn't get any, couldn't create anything. Or and maybe it's the maybe it's the free jack just being better at def better at defense. But I don't know. He just what to me, he just wasn't picking the right passes, yes. wasn't picking the right receivers, the right lines. They didn't go wide enough. Like there was a lot of problems there for them. And Patras was just absolutely. Like whatever he was doing, he was just pulling. He was the puppet master tonight, just pulling the strings. It was incredible. Hundred percent. Yeah, man. You, what do you? So you got any more other final thoughts, or you want to get us out of here? I mean, listen. Good? The old, like I said, the old discipline has to be cleaned up. Uh, we're fortunate, uh, like I said, in the first half to come out with a ten point lead, and in the second half, I think we we did a little bit better. Scrum looked better. Um, just over the moon with that result, but still at the same time, you got to get better finishing games out. It was a little bit too close for comfort there at a certain point. You got to put teams away. But, man, I mean, this team, dude, I, I'm just so thrilled with that result. So thrilled. Yeah. So uh, I'll just wrap it up with a couple of uh, couple of chats. We got Ranger James back in the chat. He there said, the grandchildren are going to hear one day that I was on <laughs> TJRS for this game. Excellent comment. Love, Love that. that. Yep. Wayne Vanderbank on year three of a 12-year contract <laughs> with the free jacks let's go more to come coach Bur uh coach burho love that and we got some we got some fire That's in the comments com dude. a lot of smart funny people that follow this show man. i mean I'll dude the neg eat there. shit negative bozo these two comments like dude this has been this has been uh quite the night it's been quite the night for uh us, facebook man. user says vion probably talking about player of the match he also oh, yeah, he quietly had another too, good yeah, match yeah quietly good um Ranger Horkin chiming in again. Houston were a damn good rugby team. That win took a battle from all 23 guys. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Same. I definitely think that they're going to be top two in the West. Yes. I don't think that that really changes for them uh, despite this loss. Jonathan P says, all good. Facebook user, the three up front changed the game. I don't think they changed the game. They just changed our fortunes at scrum time. Yeah. 
Uh, but I, I, or I, so I guess that could be kind of changed the game. Mark Friedman penalties conceded 15 per the rugby network. Oof. I bet. And half of those were from, were at the scrum. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Also from Mark Friedman. Don't es- underestimate what a good team. The free Jacks just beat. Uh, yeah. hundred percent. I mean, you could clearly see Houston are a good team. I just think that their attack was flat tonight and I don't think that they would disagree with that. Anyway, man, that's all I got. Final free Jacks, 47 saber cats. 35 we take the bonus point win back to fort quincy you love to see it. yeah dude and we got one word for everybody before we exit the stream mm-hmm. in three two one huzzah, huzzah. later everybody